Hello and welcome to the Blue Review Podcast, episode oh, number oh. 129. I'm Adrian. Very Jeez, somber start. start. Very somber Jeez, start. Tease my, my anus. There you Good go. Start. There you go. Now we start it. Demonetize. No one talking about anus. No one talking about anuses. You can't, you can't say asshole or pork or, or pork. Penis. Can't say that. Can you not? I, you, no, that's not the clinical term. The clinical term now is cock. <laughs> you you could do it. it. There's naked yoga on fucking YouTube, and that's like educational. Yeah, I know it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> and the one not laughing in gore is David. He's not. He's not. He doesn't think that's. Well, funny. he thinks it's hot too. So. He's just hiding it. Okay. Look at he's David. Don't my other hand is. <laughs> yeah. To up his ass. <laughs> uh oh. Now we're demonetized. Yeah, now there we're demonetized. No one's making money off this. Uh, well, the one cent you'll make from it. Yeah, okay. well, yeah, it's going to take another three years to make any money off YouTube, but it's okay. Uh, this is our That's podcast. Great. We talk about uh, video games, do some trivia, look at some news. Uh, we talk about the uh, rupee exchange rate, too, so stay tuned at the very end of that. We'll give you just yep. your all your news about the rupees at the very end, so stay tuned. Oh, yeah. Yep. And oh, uh, India, guys. Uh, Dude, our audience is, is actually like re the retention is actually really Not weird really in India. it's really yeah. weird how the retention sticks around it's, it's not... all people <laughs> using uh those like uh one of those blocker things to say you're in a different country the vpn and all of them are doing the vpn yeah vpn they're all, yeah. yeah they're all saying they're from india like, there's actually they're a retention like, like we get we get people thinking it's a money thing but they they come back which is weird yeah. they're actually from korea <laughs> That's the fucking twist. Yes, it's all Koreans using <laughs> VPNs. To yeah, to make Korean. themselves yeah. seem like they're from India. Yeah, to, wa to watch the podcast. Yeah, so, so what's his name won't execute them because they watch too much fucking YouTube. Oh, so it's uh, all specific YouTube. North Koreans. Got it. So yeah, that's what They're hiding from Kim Jong-un. I, I, I only said Korea because I always forget which one's which because I don't fucking care <laughs> about everything. Oh, uh, you should have stopped right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, about, oh, don't forget! I don't care about what Korea. world news with true. Gore the movie guy. Did you make yeah, that? Make that yeah, a segment of your. Uh, make yeah, that a once a week that. thing. All right, some shit's going on with one of the Koreas. I don't know. The other one's quiet. I, I mean, we will doing. be talking about Korea a little bit later tonight. Yeah, because we got that thick booty. Anyway, hell yeah. We didn't. We were going to talk about the China thing, but the whole. Uh, what? Uh, Wait. Well, there, no, there, there was Korea. no. I know, but we're gonna talk about the China thing too. But that's that's we're gonna leave it. it but, everyone's talking about it. It's it's a while now. Yeah, Shang Chi, great movie. Shang Chi. Eh. I don't know about that. I, I enjoyed great, it. Great movie if you had severe brain damage. Highest uh, uh, Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, isn't the highest Rotten Tomatoes in general for all the Marvel movies? No. I thought I read an article yesterday saying that. Well, they're fucking a liar. They're a liar. <laughs> they're fucking liar, a liar. liar. I mean, they're a fucking liar. They're one no, liar. No, Iron Man still has a higher fucking score. That was the first one. Yeah, they, they, like they peaked. Yeah, no, the highest one I think is still Black Panther. I think that has like a 97 or oh, something. Oh, the audience score I probably read. Uh, well, that makes sense. Don't worry. When a, In a couple weeks when they decide they hate it now, just like they do with every fucking MCU movie, they'll, it'll drop. So don't worry about it. I'm enjoying it. That's all right. Anyway. It's... It's leaving my brain as quickly as Black Widow. At Speaking this point, of so. Marvel, just to jump into this super super quick, I just wanted to touch on it. I, I just got done right before the podcast watching the What If episode. What yeah, episode? It's pretty good. Yeah. It was good. Episode. I don't think it's the best one. No. Like ever. Last saying, episode but, is, uh, is so much better. I not think, not, I think, a bad, I not think like a bad one's... way, but like. No. I think the third one's better too. I just like the mystery. I, I can see that. And, uh, but and also, uh, well, I don't want to spoil it. I don't think anything's topping that Doctor Strange episode though. No, I don't think so. Either. I'd be surprised but, if they uh, did awesome. They but, did, they um, did what everybody wanted. Every time there was a trailer, everybody got hyped about this one particular story, and they finally did. It. Zombies? So, it, it didn't matter. Yeah. I oh, so they did Marvel zombies? Yeah. yeah. They did zombies. Um, oh, yeah. It didn't matter how disappointing it would be. I'm sure people would have loved it either way. But uh, I wanted it to be more of a horror story, honestly. Uh, it wasn't really. Oh, that's lame. It, it, no, it had. I actually had way more violence than I was expecting, which I liked. But uh, not super. I mean, the blood was like black. But uh, like you saw some decapitations. You saw someone get cut in half twice. It was nice. I liked that. But uh, overall, it wasn't really a horror story too much. Like I wanted it to be just like I really wanted to follow all the human characters in the MCU, just sure. regular people. And they had to fight off the the MCU zombies, like everybody that became a zombie. It looked like for and a second like, a like they were movie. going to do that, but then they did it. I thought so too. I wanted, like on the train. I thought that's what was gonna happen. Like, oh, it's gonna be on a train now. Like, but train to Busan. Dark and, 
it got all dark and creepy and like somebody got killed did off uh like, did oh. you did you along with every other new york uh person get triggered that uh that train doesn't actually go to new jersey oh i don't give a fuck what i actually i, I saw a lot train. of people just like really upset about that i'm like there's no point. Yeah, those are people that are, are weird and like they have a fascination with wherever they are and think it's amazing. I'm like, isn't know? the whole point fuck. is is I don't it's... care about New York? Fuck New York. I was like, isn't the whole point is that it's an alternate dimension where things are different? Yeah, that too. Shut up. <laughs> anyway, I didn't even know they went to New Jersey. Honestly, I didn't even hear that. Yeah, that was I, a, that I, was I, a joke I, that that had made. I can't believe that it's an apocalypse and I still have to go to Jersey. I don't know, man. I didn't even hear that. Yeah, that was. Probably that, that, I was probably saying fl- something way funnier. Yeah, probably. Uh, he first says, "Yo, what up, baby? Yo, what up? Yo, what's up?" Anyway, let's just jump into. I don't it. get this this love for wherever you live. Like, just shut up. David loves Maine, dude. Yeah, he's yeah. talking about Maine all the time. Yeah, him and fucking Stephen King just fucking I, drinking I swear, some if, some bourbon. If, if if sports never existed, oh, nobody would give a shit where they live. They wouldn't hype it up so much. But because like, oh, I live in New York, so and my favorite team is the Jets because that's where I live or whatever. What's the other one? Giants? Is that another yeah. one? Yeah. I don't fuck. I live here. I, I love. I love seeing. I love seeing in uh in in uh big cities like Dallas where there's a person that's rooting for the opposite team and there's the whole like stadium of blue jerseys and like in the middle you see like one like red jersey and you're like oh that guy's just fucking i'll be wearing my silent hole shirt yeah, there you go hey uh speak... I, root, I root for what's right speaking of video games uh gore what'd you play this week uh wait i don't go first do i spicing it up a little bit I, I thought david goes first and then i go we're doing it live oh. baby okay uh i played i finished the iki island expansion for uh ghost of tsushima really fun really good great story long as fuck 12 hours to finish pretty much everything. Not everything, but uh, pretty much everything. Um, there's a couple of side things I still didn't do, but it's pretty much done. Uh, really liked it. I started Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm about six hours in. Really enjoying it. Um, runs very nice. Well, very well, nice. Very nice, well. Very nice. Um, very nice. Uh, really fun. Uh, it takes a, a little bit to get used to because it's... Uh, I mean, it's a third person. It might as well be a third person shooter for most of it because you're using your bow and arrow most of the right. time. Right. Um, but it takes some time to get used to because you actually have to you actually have to hunt these things. If you're playing on normal difficulty like me, they fuck you up hard. Um, so you actually have to like learn their weaknesses and like like uh, try to try to attack them there before you even start a fight because they will fuck you up. And then, and then there's times where I'm like doing like side missions and just out of nowhere a giant robot will show up that's obviously not supposed to be a part of the side mission and i'm like what the fuck and he just shows up to ruin everything and i'm like i now i have to fight this fucking thing um and that's a lot of variety too uh, i'm only six hours in and i think i fought like maybe seven different robots um and they all have like distinct features one has a shield the other one's just a giant flamethrower one uh there's like the little small ones that are fast there's like the horse ones uh there's ones that like drill into the ground i don't know oh, what yeah. they do that's special but uh anyway pretty fun i'm liking it uh it's good stuff i'm glad i played it now uh, uh because 60 frames is nice uh, i also played oh i played the artful escape i played that earlier today yeah, i didn't I finish it but uh it's really good that's a really good looking game too it might be one of the best looking games i've played this year uh music's great uh really fun so far there's not much gameplay exactly but it's like one of those games where you are going through a world and you're kind of looking at but you can also kind of like you could kind of jam out while you're going right so it is about it almost plays kind of like it's not exactly like this but there's times where it feels like you're kind of like it's almost like an endless runner you just keep going is it Uh, you don't need to but you want the rhythm to keep going because that's the music good, so you want to keep going does it does it kind of have like a sign our wild hearts vibes no uh, well some of the visuals but like there's no it's not really a rhythm game there are times where you do have to like oh hit a b and sure. whatever but that's like that's not the main gameplay most of it is really dialogue and like visuals so there's actually a lot of dialogue in it and multiple okay. choices and stuff so uh if you're not into this the style of music and uh if you're not into the spider um if you're not into the style of music and i guess culture sure. everybody's saying like that was metal and dope and shit like that um 
then you're not gonna like it. But it's good. I like I like it. I'm not really into that, but I, I liked it just mainly for visuals. So mm -hmm. anyway, it's on Game Pass, so fucking yeah. play it. What the fuck? Um, and uh, I play more Phoenix Wright or not Phoenix Wright. Sorry, the other guy. Great Ace Attorney man. Uh, really good. I'm like maybe halfway through the second case, but uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Nice. Oh yeah. no, I think I played um, something else. I think I played. No, I played Sonic Colors. Yeah, does it work? Uh, on Xbox it works fine. I only played it maybe like five or six levels, so probably about ten minutes of the fucking game. But you know, because they're yeah, I ended go up by my pre-order for that. I figure I'll just wait. Oh, get the baby Sonic keychain. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I forgot to actually bring that up. That's that's one thing I bought, but whatever. Um, it's fun. I don't know. Like honestly, like playing Sonic Forces last year, and then playing this now, I don't like. From what I play with Sonic Colors, I don't see the difference. Right. But uh, like everybody says, Sonic Forces sucks, but Colors, that's the shit. And I'm playing. I'm like, first of all, the remaster is fine, but whenever they go to cutscenes, obviously it was pre-rendered, so that shit is like, eesh. yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like. 20 frames and it's like fucking it's 480p and like god damn I, I honestly i had to skip one of them because it was actually making me not nauseous but it was like, really like how resident evil 4 gets brain. uh i think was like there's only one they didn't really do was uh uh was it uh eight i think it was the 360 assignment ada oh yeah, yeah yeah i think that's the one they didn't yeah. do or something they didn't, and then they they, yeah yeah um but yeah so it's good so for what it is nice <laughs> i guess uh, I, I i heard that game's like four or five hours long which makes me think that game should have been like that should have been like 20 bucks it was 40 like but I, yeah but i guess you get the baby sonic figure oh yeah so, it's for 20 bucks I mean, yeah i mean that's like worth worth at least worst. 30 bucks so, i mean really it's it's your eight boys at least 20 bucks so let me get that i'm done by the way that's it so really quick before i get to david uh, i forgot to mention anything about any of the podcast beforehand <laughs> Uh, audio uh, podcast, fine. Spotify, all that stuff. All uh, those, you can all those find audio, audio podcast at uh, uh, sphincter.com. Sphincter, uh, yeah, or whatever it's called. Go to GoDaddy. GeoCities, Go check us out, GeoCities. Go Mommy. I'm more of a, I'm a mommy. Well, fan Games Gone By schedule is uh, <laughs> September 3rd, Blood, Blood City Ritual Tonight. We announced on the Stardew Valley episode last week that uh, David's uh, mid-year or mid-month pick for October 14th is mid -year. Night Trap. And then we're capping off season two with Bioshock on October twenty eighth and November fourth will be the games gone by season two retrospective. Yeah, so that won't take fucking forever. Hopefully nothing gets a, uh, hopefully nothing gets announced in between those two episodes. Will another president catch COVID on our retrospective episode? Find out November fourth, I, I guess. I don't fucking care. I don't care. Yeah, news with Gore, dude. Another with another segment. Do, 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 do. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. <laughs> There's no I don't care. I, it should be. Uh, my name is Gore. Yes. And I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. What? 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 What was up, David? You wanted to say something so fucking bad. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> also, we have this shirt. Like, comment, oh, yeah. subscribe, and cover it. Uh, I have this shirt. You can't buy this one. If you buy uh, that, uh, uh, we get zero percent of the proceeds. So go buy that yeah. Silent Hill shirt. And if you buy that shirt that Adrian's wearing, I get zero percent of the proceeds. So you know, David gets proceeds. Oh yeah. No, David doesn't get shit. When we have more people actually buy them. Yeah, when they get, when they hit a threshold. Right. Uh, yeah. There you go. Anyway, yeah. David. Uh, David, David what, you, what have you played? I'll, I'll do uh, it. Shut up. I have finished Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. I got Speaking three of. trophies left to get the platinum. Yeah. Uh, I haven't even looked at it, let alone touched it, or put it in my console, or played it, or made the character move, <laughs> or fucking hit the love. enemy, uh, or, or made love. I definitely didn't do that. Uh, ew. <laughs> Ugh, uh, cooties or cooties yeah i'm sorry no, go ahead Paul, hurry good. up uh I'll, I'll i'll save obviously a lot of my in-depth thoughts but i honestly probably could have beat the game sooner uh i have like 35 hours of playtime currently so and i'm just about done getting the platinum i honestly probably could have beat it at the 20 hour mark um but i grinded like fucking crazy to get some of the stuff yeah i was grinding a little bit when i played it uh back in 2019 i didn't finish it but i was grinding hard uh, yeah, I grinded a little uh, too much because I got to a point where I fought the super boss of the game and killed him in like thirty seconds. Hell yeah! See, that's so, always feels good. 
It, it's I am. nice, but at the same time, but it's like, all right, let's get ready. I'm excited. You know, most powerful boss in the game. Then, you know, this is the real time challenge. to fight let's me. Go. I am God. I, I am God. He who. <laughs> I mean, yeah, pretty much. I, was doing I win. Three One punch man versus anyone. On him, so. <laughs> that's like that's like in every like game. If you play it on the super easy difficulty, I would know. Oh yeah, uh, but yeah, uh, you have, the... you have traveled seventy hours in this game and collected all of the mushrooms or whatever or whatever collectibles there are in this game. Now you will fight me and you should one shot him in the head. Oh. <laughs> It reminds me, of, it, 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 it's it acts that, like it was an epic battle or some no, shit. It's, it's <laughs> that one, uh, that one, uh, yeah, the scene. Fantasy joke. Uh, no, 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 it's that one yeah. scene at the uh, end of season one of One Punch Man. It's uh, the, yeah, epi- sure, sure. it's the, it's the episode before <laughs> the last one where it's, right, right, I right. forget what his name is. Yeah, I'm uh, Gorbus. Too, like, Gorbus. No, the, the one before that. Oh, the, yeah. the guy that yeah. jumps down, he doesn't even land on the ground. Yeah, yet. I am Gorbus. I'm here, and then his head's gone. And then the, then you see the next guy. He's like. Oh, no, no, and then he talked to a Boros, and Boros was like, what if, all right, send in Gorbus, the, our strongest warrior. He's dead! <laughs> He's dead! <laughs> He's already dead! He's gone! He doesn't have a head anymore! <laughs> David, anything else? Uh, yeah, so what I was going to say real quick is, uh, I did run into one weird glitch with the game. Uh, there's different shortcuts you can unlock to go to different areas faster, uh, typical Metroidvania stuff. But I had one shortcut that didn't work for me. I don't know if it was like a weird thing of playing it on the PS5 or if it's just in the game anyways. Uh, but that was kind of a weird thing where it just sent me to a black screen if I tried to use that shortcut. Uh, but otherwise than that, fantastic fucking game. Uh, I absolutely loved it. And a lot of replayability too. They added in a whole new mode apparently where you can play as Zangetsu through the whole thing. Uh, they added in a randomizer mode. They added in boss rush mode. Apparently, they're adding in co-op at some point soon, which is kind of neat to see. Uh, there's just a whole lot of shit they've added to the game that you could honestly get a shit ton of replayability out of it. So I'm excited to go back to this game at some point down the road. Hell yeah. A oh, fucking sweet. Hell yeah. But yeah, that's all I played. Uh, before I go crazy at Pro NHS, says, played some Ghost of Shima and finished Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Oh yeah. Shit. Uh, Good game. Shit, I, don't, I don't think I really played anything. Uh, I did. Sh- I did stream uh, some Overwatch. This- oh, I did. No, I streamed Overwatch with uh, my friend this weekend. Go check that out. That was fun. Uh, we did a shot every time we lost, and that was done at the end of it. Uh, and then I played um, Lake. That was the oh, indie yeah. game where you just drive around. Yeah, uh, you play as a male lady. Yeah, and go around giving mail. Yeah, it's actually pretty all right. Uh, I know it's got like it's like I think like mid sixties, like low seventies, just depending on what platform you look at on on Metacritic. But I'm enjoying right. my time with it. It's very it's it's a very peaceful Zen, just really chill game that I'm I'm really enjoying. They got that from Keymailer. Shouts to Keymailer and shouts to the developers that got me that. Uh, let me get the developer really quick so I can do that. Uh, but yeah, I'm enjoying that so far. I'm gonna go through and finish that this weekend. Uh, speaking of that too, I just want to give another shout out. I did, I, oh, a couple weeks ago I did this. I don't, I don't remember when, so that kind of sucks, but I did boot up last call. I got about like a third of the way through, uh, just oh, have yeah. not had time to go back to it, but I enjoyed what it was. Uh, shout out to, to, uh, Game Pass having a last call, 12 minutes and, uh, uh, what's that one you just, you said you played? Oh, uh, the Art Full Escape? Yeah, the Art Full Escape. Those are like three really cool indie games to have on Game Pass, like day one. So, I want to give Hell a quick, yeah. quick shout out to that. Uh, the, yeah, uh, quick shout out to Xbox, multi million dollar company. Fucking just, uh Gamius and, and White Thorn Digital for the uh, code. Much appreciated. Yeah. But yeah, I'm enjoying Lake. Yeah. So, hey, thanks, Phil. The Franco. Oh, yeah, shit. Phil of the Franco. Yeah. Uh, Phil of the future. I did. Uh, Dark side, Phil. In class, I did set up, uh, I set up Smash. And the oh. the boys want to play. It's gotten that bad, eh? Just playing Smash now. They uh the, the boys want to play, so all right, and they're they're still getting used to it, and they're like, come on, play. I'm like, and I'll, I'll you guys get some games, and they're like, no, okay. Well, I was like, all right, one more game, and they're like, all right, just could play it. So we'll do two v one. I'm like, all right, <laughs> we did two v one. They didn't know what the heck was going on, and then I was like, all right, and I, I won. I I just I wrapped up. All right, cool. Let's go back. Let's go back to work. I took a, a picture of the screen, and one of the boys like. Bro, you putting that on Snapchat? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> gotta flex yeah. on him. Wow. What a dick. Anyway. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta flex on him, man. Absolute fucking Chad. Chad Moody. What a dick. 
Uh, I made I made him fly in the air with my Mega Man Leaf tornado no, shit. They, oh, they made so me, cool. They made, they made <laughs> me play uh, Lucario. So, I just so. What's I the just, difference? Just, yeah, they're, they're at Lucario with leaves. Press the X button, and hit him. Huh? Press the X button, and hit whatever him. button. Yeah, that, that's Press how it works. Button. No, I don't uh, remember. That's Smash, button. right? I don't know. I don't even remember where the fucking where the face buttons are on the Switch right now. I can't even think where the X button is. Too many differences. Yeah, Why don't you just yeah. copy Xbox or the other one? Yeah, sure. Uh, Gore, what'd you get this week? Well, uh, a hernia. I feel like I had <laughs> something big, but I don't think I brought it over here. Oh, you left your dick yeah, out there? Yeah, we're fucking funny. Anyway, uh, I got the Sonic game. Uh, it comes with the... I don't want to pull out. Whatever, it's baby Sonic. Give a fuck. Uh, I did get uh, my uh, Curse of the Moon 2 from Let Me Run. Hell so yeah. Got that. Good shit. Hell yeah. So I got that. Got that. I got that. It's all it's good. Yeah. I got it. Um, I got a couple more uh, PS5 games for the collection. I got Tormented Souls, which I actually heard this is pretty I good. That was good, yeah. I don't want to play it, though, because it looks scary. But I wanted to get it because I have a feeling this might be something hard to get in the future. So I'll probably play it. Does, does it really seem like it's going to be hard to get in the future? I don't know. I mean, a horror, lot of these horror-style horror game. games yeah. do. There's not a lot of horror games out like in How much was it, 40 like, Yeah, it's way, it's too much. It's like a $20 game digital. So. Uh, like, okay, yeah, we'll yeah, see. So. Uh, I heard it's good, though. It's an old-school like, well, that's, that's a gameplay game that'll watch. that'll go on sale. I like the my favorite thing about that game that I've seen so far is that it does not tell you anything. You have to literally read a map to tell you, like where Ooh. everything is, to the point where I I don't even think there's like signs on the walls and shit that tell you where you are. So you literally have to yeah. keep looking at that map and like remember what everything is on it. I don't even think it tells you where you are on the map too. So you have to like actually read and go. All right, I'm. And David couldn't even do it. This... David couldn't do a text adventure, so he's not gonna be able to yeah, do he's that. Fucked. Yeah. No, I, I you're the worst in navigation. Yeah, I really am. Yeah, I'm not good at that either. I, that also makes me worried. You're, you're but it all... does have a set number of enemies. I was I was worried that if like you just roam around long enough, like they'll randomly generate some more enemies or some shit. Because some games do that, and it's it's supposed to be like Resident Evil. It's a set number of enemies on every on every floor. I guess. If if you ever want to know true pain, uh, have a uh, David. Roy Thanks. navigate you through LA freeway. I don't want to do that. I've gotten a little bit better about that. I think he added probably about like an hour and a half to every every trip that we had because you take a wrong turn in LA, you're literally just gone for an hour. And I think we took Fuck, a it wrong took us turn. a goddamn half hour just to get to a goddamn jack in the box that was across the street. Yeah. Well, yeah, it sounds like you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Why don't you just use MapQuest? Or anything. I literally, I gave, Dave, we were using that, but I didn't have a holder, so I gave David the, the phone to look at Google Maps as we were but driving. But while he's driving? No, while well, he was driving. I was oh, driving, was driving, so, so oh, I gave him the phone. Yeah, yeah so I gave him the phone. I'm like, here, look at this. He's a navigator and also the driver. <laughs> <laughs> All right, did you look at this? No, you look at it. All right, fuck. <laughs> uh, hey, David, are you the kind of guy that uh, uh, uses your arm to signal if you're... <laughs> no. No? Right. I could see that. My shit's out. It's just like, just hey, you put your, you put your head out. Just, just <laughs> <a> car just... <laughs> yeah. Poof, takes the whole arm off. Oops. Uh -oh. Dude, what happened to your arm? Signal. Fucking gone, bro. Dave, what'd you yeah. get this week? <laughs> no shit. Hell yeah. I'm not, I'm not done. What the fuck? <laughs> I didn't say <laughs> I'm get, done. Buddy. All right, what else did you get? <laughs> I got Just Dance 2021. <laughs> that PS5 collection, dude. Hell yeah. It was 10 bucks, so I had to get that. What the fuck do you do with that uh, game now? You just hold the controller? Uh... I, th I think you have to use your phone, right? I'm pretty sure you connect it to the phone. Hold on, let me see. I've literally uh, not paid attention to that game since it's not been on. Uh... Wait, hold on. Oh, this is bullshit. It says two. It says for multiplayer online, it's to the ten thousand plus network players. How? Oh, How does can that we, make sense? Can we all Gangnam Style online right now? Oh my god! Yeah, oh, no additional accessories. Style. Wait, it says no additional accessories required. All you need is the app, but the phone is an accessory technically. Why is you, you just like you don't have a phone, or maybe your don't phone you doesn't. Have phones? Your phone is old. Yeah, phones? exactly. Is Diablo shit again. What the fuck. I'm um, saying so yeah, no. You can use the app. I think you can use. I'm assuming you can use the motion on the controller, but I don't know why you would want. To and the and the webcam too, right? 
Yeah, right? That has to work. I know the Kinect still works, I think, right? <laughs> if you can hook it up, I think it still works. So, I could be wrong. I think it does. Anyway, I also got Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I want to play this game again Hell yeah. um, in the future. So, I got on PS5. I've been I've uh, been growing on the white on the the PlayStation boxes. I love it. it I, I, I wasn't really into it at first, but now I, I'm digging it. Good, I like it. Um, they had this for ten bucks, and I I'll I'll probably never watch this. But Amazon had it for ten. I was like, fuck it. So I got a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Bo- I almost Beyond bought that. Time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, because I know this will probably be worth something in the future. But uh, ten bucks, fuck it. I mean, I I love Yu-Gi-Oh! For the most part. Uh, so. Sammy in the chat go. says. Hey. Oh my god, you're wearing my favorite shirt again, Gore. Hell yeah. Pyramid. Dude, Man, they had that figure. That that pyramid figure that, yeah, I, that uh, I was like this yeah, close to it. buying it. I wish it had the accessory for the other nurse. Or not nurse, one of the little like yeah. fucked up mannequin. So you can, you know, I was about he does with it. So I, I had the unfortunate uh thing where whenever someone's like addressing me, I'm I'm very scatterbrained when I get like hit with multiple things I need to like talk to. So like I took my AirPods out and just don't know what I did with them. So I just don't have AirPods. I have the case, but now I just don't have my AirPods in the case. And they're lost. I think I let they they got lost at, at the school. And I'm like, a kid probably just like said, cool. I found new AirPods. Yeah, they, they joined them. Yeah. Uh, Cause it says Cause like, it says on my phone that they're last on at school, but I looked around there and they're not anywhere. There's a possibility still there, but they're not. But I'm like, fuck. So I, I'm going to have to shell out for new AirPods. Are they actual AirPods? Or... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cause... Everybody in my family call. They have them too. Like my mom has them. My aunt has them. But they call them AirPods, and they're not actually AirPods. They're just AirPods. The popular thing to call them, but they're like the forty dollar piece of shit ones. Yeah. yeah. They just yeah. They're just wireless earbuds. Yeah. yeah like you can so. see. I can I can show that. You can see like you can see that they're still on the Find My iPhone app. It's like a and, room app. And uh, yeah, I zoomed out so that way you don't know where everything's at. <laughs> but uh. Yeah. Uh, and I walk and I walked around in the morning and I couldn't find them. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. I guess I'm gonna just buy some. Probably the pros at this point. I'll just get those tomorrow. And it's like a two hundred dollar fucking purchase. I'm like, oh, fuck. I'll just buy some more wireless earbuds. Because I'm gonna get bugged if I don't fucking have my AirPods. I'm like, I want some fucking music. Well, this this time this time just fucking use regular earbuds. No, who fuck? Oh, I hate wires. I I know. Oh, fucking. Oh, only poor people listen to things with regular earbuds. Plus, oh, they got fuck. the pass through on the AirPod Pros, dude. Yeah. On their nine hundred dollar phones and their fucking oh their ten dollar earbuds, fucking losers. Yeah, that's, you don't that have a three hundred dollar accessory that does the exact same thing as your ten dollar thing, uh, with your nine hundred dollar phone. What are you a fucking loser? With the connect your to your two thousand dollar watch. And yeah, your two thousand dollar watch. Uh, with your with fucking your with your five thousand dollar smart glasses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that tells you how much of a fucking loser you are whenever you press it. <laughs> with your like, smart shirt up, and your 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 fat stretch. Your like, your, uh, your, your smart underwear. Yeah, you're smart. You need a pee right uh, now. Oh. (laughs) Yeah. Oh. oh. We get so stupid that the fucking thing says, it's time to pee. It's almost like... It's like, It's it's unironically how we've gotten so stupid to... And I I say this as if I'm not part of it. You got... We've gotten so stupid to a point where, like, on your phone, it says, hey, make sure to drink water. Oh, okay. (laughs) That too, eh? I know know some some apps just say, hey, like, you've been sitting around. Yeah, no, the the watch, like, it it defaults an app that says, like, hey, uh, stand up. You've been sitting down for an hour. I'm like, I want to fucking stand up. How does it know I'm standing? How the fuck does it know I'm standing? I'm not standing up right now. I'm just really good at not moving my phone. All right, Batista. I'm standing and walking. All right, let me try this. All right. Shake that up a little bit. Yeah, okay. I did that with mine, I think. Kind of? Uh, yeah, not really. I don't know why yeah, it keeps... a little bit better. I don't know why it keeps... Un- it it's it cl- does that to me sometimes, too. Yeah, maybe I'll just... Whenever I just I'll close it up. But yeah, it's funny. I was really unironically get stupid to the point where your phone's like, all right, time to do this. Time to... Yeah, time... Man. Like, I get I get a, like... I get, like, an hourly reminder. It's gonna get to the point where, like, don't forget to breathe. Like, no, oh, no, I'm literally. <laughs> no, that's what I was gonna say. Is I, there's, a, there's a thing, like, uh, it's, like, an hour... It's supposed to be, like, the, like, the deep breathing thing where it's like, all right. Right, right. In- right. Inhale, exhale, do that. But at some point, like give it like another five years, and it's gonna be like, hey, make sure you're breathing. Oh shit! All right. <laughs> Thank you, phone. Uh, Chadbox says, uh, "Yo, what up, boys? What's up, Chadbox?" Uh, What's up, Chadbox? Hey, person, the future is now with smart underwear. Yeah, it's true. Hell yeah! Time, Hell yeah. time to change. Me. When you take it, when you take a dump in there, they'll conceal the dump. So. Well, there's smart toilets now. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Or if you shit in its mouth. <laughs> 
<laughs> Not so smart, eh? <laughs> uh, what what else you get, Gore? Doing that. Oh, last thing. Uh, speaking of horrific things, uh, just in, in in general, horrific shitting in the mouth. Uh, Silent Hill. I had to pick up this uh, steel book for the thing. Okay. What the fuck? Look at that. Oh, you didn't, oh, you didn't know about this? Shit. No. Oh, oh, you missed it too? Well, it's sold out, bitch. Oh. <laughs> Is there some in my store, maybe? Uh, I guess you can check. Sub Green Super Flash. We got the whole crew here. I, right now. I almost I almost got a. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, I almost got a, the regular 4K also. Just I mean, because. I'll still probably at least get the regular 4K if nothing else, but goddamn. I'm sure it looks oh, good. It's crispy. Yeah, it's pretty crispy. That's a good fucking box art. Yeah. So, yeah, it's not go. fuck. But that haunt your dreams. That looks really good. God damn it. I didn't know that was a thing. Well, maybe I'll, if, if you restock. see a restock, let me know like ASAP. I'll buy yeah, a shot of that. Know. I'll eat both now. Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, well, you, you judge which one, which one's the better steel book? I, oh, Yu Gi Oh! Which one? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It has Jaden Yuki on it. By the way, his name is Jaden Yuki. That's yeah. a. That's it. Yeah, that's against the law. Because when I was a kid, I thought his name was Yugi, and I was like, "Oh, is he related?" No, it's Yuki. Yukio. You know, you know what you did, yeah. You know what you did. I don't know who the fuck this asshole is. He's from that motorcycle one, right? Five yeah, D's. Five D's. Yeah, five D's. Five fuck D's five. Nuts. Yeah, exactly. All right, now five I'm done. Gum. All right, David. Just... Hell yeah! All right, so first stack. Uh, different kind of books and stuff that I've collected. Uh, managed to get my hands on the unauthorized Star Fox 64 strategy guide. Speaking of that, did you ever one. get in contact with that dude that was on that 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 Nocturne? Yeah, he was looking for it for like 75 and uh, yeah. For what I, yeah. Do. I, mean, I get it though. Everyone was asking for it at that point. Yeah. Uh, then I got the second novel of uh, Shin Megami Tensei Khan. So. I now have little two volumes that got translated into English out of a fucking eight, which is bullshit. Yeah, uh, so first bullshit. stack of games, like before, uh, these are all going to be ones I'm just going to show quickly just because I got these just to have complete in box again. Uh, COD 4, gross. Yeah, right case. What the fuck? Gundam Versus. Oh, that one's fine, though. <laughs> yeah, Gundam Versus. Great. Great. All, all the Gundam, Gundam games are great. Most of them are. Great. Great track record with Dark. Uh, WWF ad. Uh, no, Warzone. <laughs> Waiting on Attitude. Hey, Warzone's good. Atti uh, yeah, Warzone's great. I think Attitude was the other one that's on PS1, besides SmackDown, yeah. obviously. SmackDown's great. SmackDown's classic. SmackDown was, oh, so good. Yeah. God damn. Uh, Battleborn, another great game. What? I thought you fucking already bought this. How many times you go buy that game? He's no, wanted, he wants it to fucking, come back. I know, I, know I know they're 25 cents at the dollar store, but what the fuck? <laughs> It's a sale at the dollar store. Yeah, seventy five percent off at the dollar store is real sad. You don't want to uh, be there. Modern <laughs> Warfare Two, gross. What do you mean gross? Why are you filling your collection with just shit that you don't want? Yeah. Again, yeah why I'm, why I'm, would you I'm get Modern Warfare complete in box? Why would you I, get Modern Warfare? No, shut the fuck up. Why would you get Modern Warfare Two regular case and then get Modern Warfare One with the red case? Because I don't give a fuck. Why do you even but have why? them to begin with? Because yeah, I got exactly. them as part of a lot. And just sell uh, them as a lot, too. You no. should have said that. And I'm like, why are you, you buying all these fucking games? No, I, I got them. Or... I'm going to keep them. You didn't say it was a lot, so I was confused. Oh, no, it is a well, lot. Well, no, because of... these are now me getting oh. them completed box. I got them as right. part of a lot ages ago. Uh, it was oh, a lot okay. that I got the Mr. Mosquito in uh, that I went over a while back. I don't even remember. Give but, me uh, that. I want that. I got rid of my Mr. Mosquito a long time ago. Uh, I, I shouldn't have did that. I, I remember I was uh, a Mr. Mosquito when the I game? first worked at, at the game shop. That was one of the games that was just there. I'm like, that's a fucking weird game. I thought, and that yeah. was back before. You, you like, could drink uh, blood from a boob. And it was like Hell before yeah. like like that game. It was like 30 bucks probably back then. And I was like, that's a weird game. And then uh, I remember I reminisced about that story with someone I was taking there. I was like, yeah, I remember like the first day I worked there. It was, and this is the first time I ever told that story. I was like, yeah, that was a fucking weird game like Mr. Mosquito. I mean, it was weird. And I walked in the shop, and right there, they just had a copy that just came in. I'm like, all right, okay, I guess that's fate. <laughs> I'll, I'll buy it. That's fate. It's fate. Oh, it's fucking fate. Uh, so last two that I got just to get complete in box again, or uh, just actually these I just got the cases for, uh, and the manual for one of them. Uh, Front Mission Evolved. Hell yeah. 
Uh, and this I just need to get the case for uh, Digimon uh, Cyber Sleuth. So, now uh, the rest of these are all stuff that's new for the collection. Uh, See Zero Divide, a fighting game for the PlayStation 1 with robots. Cool. I like robots. Uh, Metal Miku, uh, some kind of obscure kind of adventure game for the Saturn. Uh, got it because it was five bucks. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Looks Why great. Not? Uh, a couple more additions to the Vita collection there. Managed to grab Freedom Wars for 14 bucks. Got that. Uh, and then I managed to snag this for, I think it was 18 I snagged this for, a Trillion, God of Destruction. Cool. Uh, then I snagged this for only 20 bucks, which was a pretty good fucking find. Uh, I got X-Morph Defense, the, the limited physical collection version there. X-Morph Defense. Does this sound yeah. familiar? Uh... Uh, I mean, some kind of tower defense game, it looks like. Uh, there was a game, an old game, a really shitty 360 game called Morph X. Oh, that was, gotcha. like, really, really terrible. Uh, Ew. And uh, we got another PS5 game to the collection. I'm starting to get mine growing up a little bit uh, here. And I got the medium. Hey, you got the medium. Hell yeah. Wait, but don't you have Game Pass? Yeah. What the fuck? You could just play it on Series X. He's never Series X. No, I already started playing it a bit on PC and liked it. So him not having a Series X. Well, you can play on PC. Well, you could say you can play on PC. So, like yeah. Half Life. <laughs> but no, uh, I heard that, for some reason it has way better reviews on PS5. I think it's. I swear it has to be because of the Dual Sense because every review I read was like. Yeah, uh, the medium was cool, I guess, on Xbox, but now you got the Dual Sense. Like three of them I read was like the Dual Sense really adds something to the to the fear. I, I feel shit. like I'm it's. Like, a, right. no, I mean, just in general, like that kind All of right. game would do better on PlayStation to begin yeah, with, it, just because that's the market. It, sure, and also there's not as many reviews, so that's probably why it's a little higher right now. But um, I could also see that because I heard there's not really much gameplay in that. Like, there's a lot of running and there's a lot of puzzles. So like. If you're not really doing a lot of gameplay, then you're really focusing on just kind of like the world. And mm -hmm. if it really interacts with the controller a lot, then you notice it more. I would say probably. Can I, can I see that cover uh, again, David? Yeah. yeah, it's the same. Same as the I guess the digital box, right? It looks it looks really good as a PS5 cover, honestly. Yeah, it does because it's got the white with yeah. the pearl white hair. I might actually get that later when it's on sale. So me laughing at him was not right. No, so. I'll get it probably Black Friday. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm sure that and like a bunch of other games. I want to get Tales of Arise. It's been getting such fucking good I saw reviews. your video on that, yeah. Like, I want to, but I know it'll probably be like 30 bucks at Black Friday. And I yeah, have I'm, no time for that yeah. shit. Right I'm now. like pretty much just waiting on Black Friday for all that. I'm not going to have time yeah. for anything anyway, so fuck it. Not for yeah, everything. I'm, I'm, still, I'm still getting Deathloop. Well, Deathloop, yeah, you'll get that. But, I mean, for well, at least for me, I'm not going to have time for anything. Yeah. And, uh, Any yeah, free time that I have is going to be that movie podcast have. stuff. You are going to get Aliens if it's uh, on sale, right? Yeah. I really want to play that. I'll do that. I, like I don't, I don't want to play with random people. All right, let's see what I got. Are you gonna get that, David? If you, it's on sale. Uh, the Aliens Fire Team. Oh, fuck, I'm yeah. doing that. Yeah, I'll grab damn it. That. All right, cool. We oh, need to play, PS5, play right? tribes. Yeah, PS Five. Yeah. Damn it, what? I, I didn't. Oh. I ever had to change the the webcam perspective. It's fine. Oh, well, that's fine. What for? Just showing shit. Yeah. That's fine. I haven't really scattered lately. My apologies. Uh, I got. <laughs> don't I ever got, do it again. I got this thing. Yeah, don't even yeah. fucking get that shit away. The fuck? I think it's cool. I mean, uh, no, I, I like this. I actually there, bought. The, uh... I, 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 spoilers for a future one. I, I bought uh, the Doom ones. So hell yeah, yeah. For the listeners I, out there, you can see it's the uh, the Jet Set Radio uh, rubber yeah. ducky. So yeah. we got beat. No, I, I like that. That's cool. uh, I like the rubber duck ones actually. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Let's see. Uh, in terms of video games, the new ones are great because you there's no duck in there. Like you can't even tell it's a duck because they just covered in a. Well, the Doom guy is just covered with the suit, the helmet and stuff, so you can't even tell it's a duck. And uh, the other one I bought was the Marauder, which is the same thing. He's just, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, cool. Nick says, "Holy shit, they made a tubs out of a uh, Jet Set Radio shit." Because I need to get that yeah. ASAP. Yeah, no, the reason I bought it is like, how often do you see Jet Set Radio merch? I'm like, I'll support whatever right, fuckers exactly. see out of that. So fuck it's it. It's weird that that like. All these weird, like a duck right there is already weird, and then you make it a, based on a game that not 
not too many people played. There's been no sequel to. That's not very yeah. well known. Yeah, never. That's been, well, there has been generations sequel. out. Well, yeah, but yeah, but like no new sequel. Yeah, we got a, a bomb bomb rush cyber fuck or whatever it's called. There you go. Uh, I got this because it was only a few bucks. I know it's not a great game, but I got Super Monkey Ball. Yeah, I saw it. Game uh, GameStop had it for I think seven bucks, and then Best Buy had it for eight, and I was like, eh. yeah. <laughs> I said no. So I said no the book. Uh, shout out to last week to these two gentlemen for letting me know about that whole uh, Nier and Dragon Guard 3. Uh, ironically enough, I got another copy of Dragon Guard. I got a really good deal on this. I saw it for cheap. And I was like, okay, no one bid on it? Cool. I'll take it. Oh, yeah. So, cool. got a lot of Dragon Guard up in here. Uh, um, I need to grab the second one at some point. Yeah, yeah well, it's, getting yeah, well, it's expensive now. Yep. Uh, I really wanted this only specifically because manual baby so that now is a complete copy of dragon guards so i could get rid of my other one and and uh make up for that uh because that does pay for itself now uh let's see uh i got these i forgot i pre-ordered them a while back uh then i let the store know that i, I needed the address changed and they got that just in time i haven't opened them yet actually i got the 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 U2s of the Banjo, the Banjo characters. All right. I got 2D Banjo and Bottles. Oh, yeah, 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 these things. Yeah. I like the, I like the boxes, like, I mean, they, sh it, it's, uh. Yeah. They it, should be nice because fucking hell, they're expensive. They are. The only thing that sucks is, like, I, it's cool the front, it's actually, like, embossed. You can't really tell. Maybe you can. All right, all right. Yeah, Let's I can see, see if I can kind of, uh, not really. But, yeah, this is, like, it's embossed, which is cool. The backs are all the, uh. The thing there i just kind of wish it was like a little like just go like the extra mile have like a flap on there you know like a velcro flap because that point then like the presentation is like, see it. like so much better than uh than pops but obviously because that's that's price too let me see yeah. if I can, i'll pop one open right now oh you said pop i forgot i got pop. this oh, oh i didn't get that one <laughs> there you go shout yeah, out to him and what if spoilers yeah well kind of uh, Nick says, I surprisingly also found a Shenmu tubs. It's so weird. The ones they're going after yeah. is so bizarre. Because they know no one's going to buy it. It oh, actually wait. makes sense, actually, Dude. if you think about it. Because no, no one's going to, like, it's not going to be, like, a Funko Pop. So you might as well do obscure shit, because they'll know that the people are going to buy it. Oh, it does. It's obscure, we'll get it. But it does have a thing? Yeah, I put this ball on me. Oh, I was already out, so. It has a, a, a window. So there's the banjo. It's a good little figure. I like hey. that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, no. Okay, so I was wondering what that was. Let's see. Let's see how this works. Okay, so I guess it has an outer box too. Does that make sense? Cool. Let's see. Uh, I forgot yeah. one of the. I was gonna buy one of those. Uh, I really wanted the cup headed uh, ones, banjo. but they were they were. Yeah. It was getting a little bit too pricey. What is it called again? I want to see like all the U2's? ones they released. There you go. Look. How do you spell that? Is it like you? There you go. It's on the, it's it's Y O U T O O Z. Yeah. There you go. Look look at that. That's a cool little. I didn't realize that at all. There you go. One second. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. That's nice. Let's see on the the back. Uh, Bando Kazooie are always getting swept up in adventures, whether it's making music or stopping the sinister Gruntilda. Yeah. Ooh, this is a nice little presentation. I like this. I like this. Oh, I hate that name. That name is really bad. But oh, they got a jet one, and a, and a spike one. Jet. No, like it looks like it should be more dorky, especially because some of the stuff they have. Don't they have a Ricky one? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah like they have, some they of have a bunch weird... of YouTube. They have a bunch of YouTuber ones. I, I know that because John Tron had one. Uh, yeah, like it, I, it makes you think they're cheap choice for that, but like you actually see the quality. It's actually kind of nice. Yeah, they better be nice. Tootie is a spunky little bear who loves adventures like Kazooie and looks up to her older brother Banjo. I forgot which one I wanted to get. Yeah, let's see the last. It was one. like a few months ago. Uh. Let's see. Bottles is a gentle, short-sighted uh, mole who's friends with Banjo and Tootie. Not Kazooie, though. Oh, he, doesn't yeah. like, he doesn't like Kazooie. No, he doesn't like his ass. Fucking Her ass. Oh, that's right. I confused them. Don't don't misgender her. Oh. What? Don't like Kazooie? Why? Is she good? she doesn't get beat enough? I'm telling you. She, what a, she's, that bear she's needs to go mean. into... That bear needs to go into, like, at least counseling. At, or at something. least counseling. At uh, least... Well, uh, preferably jail. I got. Being a ooh, let me show. Prick. Let me show this thing first. Uh, I forgot. I ordered this immediately afterwards, but I got that that reigns. 
Yeah, you got the reins. I forgot I ordered another. What the fuck is this thing? I was like, oh yeah, I forgot. What the fuck? <laughs> All right. What I, the fuck? I got my I am eight bit order that I made so long ago. Finally. Oh. Uh. Right. I got the Johto. Oh, look, you see, uh, you see Gore. I can see Gore. Anyway, you had the, the Johto, uh, vinyl. I was, I was bummed to miss it the first time. I was able to grab it the second time. Johto, like Pokemon? Yeah, they, they, uh, remade it, it like orchestra or like orchestral, like remix of, of the whole thing, which is really, really good. Oh, that sounds pointless. I mean, that sounds cool. <laughs> but the piece de results. I got the Persona 5 vinyl. Yeah. I was so Persona close to getting that. Royal vinyl. Big boys right there. I was so close to buying the Royal one, but. Oh, it's so good. Oh, Hold boy. off. I'm excited Hell to yeah. fucking bust these out. Probably right, not for a little while, though. But. Never. <laughs> right. And then you this should've... also came uh, with a little bonus. Just... If you bought the both, you got the little. Uh, a little bonus oh, uh, cool. mini vinyl. Oh, spoilers. I don't know who they are. Spoilers. Spoilers. Uh, did y'all see Blood Rain? see them in the first like 30 minutes. Uh, if, huh? if, 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 did y'all see Blood Rain just got on the PS5 and PS4? Yep. Yeah, it's a uh, physical on limited run also. Ooh. The Blood Rain, uh, the arcade game that came out like 10 years ago. That's super hard one. I think Sam, did Sam review that and he hated, he hated it? hated it, yeah. Yeah, well, it's really hard. That's probably why I hated it. Yep. Um, I heard also the platform in that game sucked ass. It wasn't good Space Arc, though. Yeah, Space Arc fucking sucked my balls. Six out of ten. Six out of ten. <laughs> Six out of ten. He hated that game for the entire review until the end. <laughs> and then and they turned an IGN out of nowhere and, and gave it a pretty good score. Avatar dropped with nine out of ten. <laughs> Has anybody edited any IGN reviews just to have seven out of ten, like, at the end of like a really bad one because that's what they give for everything at this point remember, remember samuel's uh review of bingo party yeah uh wasn't it just like uh oh yeah 10 out of 10 uh really fun it game, does, it does everything friends. it needs to it does everything it needs to yeah <laughs> it's exactly what it needs to be bingo. i think i think out the online there was like some really angry guy that was that was playing <laughs> uh, yeah, it's perfect. nick says uh persona let's go indeed indeed yes yeah. anyway Let's uh, let's get the trivia, boys. I'm ready. Get your big ass board. I swear, I don't know where I put my big ass board. Yeah, so I have a book and I know where that is. Fuck, I don't know where I put it. Uh, it's right in your hand. It's fine. How do you lose a board? Move shit. Why why are you looking on the ground? Oh, okay. You got a you got a notebook. You know, the thing he should be using to begin with, honestly. Oh no, I dropped a card. We're gonna we're gonna use that card for trivia sure, you now. All right, lucky card. Maybe maybe David will get this one. Okay. It's all modern questions, you know. David's Ooh, like he's like, I like this he's an old soul. All right, let's go. Who is the main antagonist of the Serious Sam video game series? The main antagonist? Oh shit! Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know actually. I don't play those for the story. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's a fun. That's a fun just question. Serious. I feel like they're different in some of the games. It's different. It's, a, it's like a different antagonist. I don't know. Fuck it. I really don't know. We're dwindling down this this little deck of cards now. We're like, all right, right at good. the very end of this card. But we got another one more deck. Okay, on three, one, two, three. Gore says Angry Bill. David says the friends we made along the way. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, real it's mental. Hey, I played other games. I, don't, I, don't, I have no idea. I played the the latest one too. Well, no, not the latest one. But, which uh, Sony console one. introduced a share button to its DualSense controller or its DualShock controller? Oh, PS4. Yeah. Yeah. I just weird. Those are, those are on the same fucking card. It's I was, was gonna say PS3. Who's the antagonist? Serious Sam, and also, uh, which console enters the share button? I was gonna say the Xbox, but all right. All right, for for all those hardcore gamers out there, you ready? Yeah. What is the name of the green creature that is the pl that the player must feed in the popular mobile game Cut the Rope? Uh... What is the name of the green creature that the player <laughs> must feed in the popular mobile game Cut the Rope? 
Uh, I never really liked Cut the Rope, honestly. I never um, really played it. I played. I played. I probably. I probably played way more than I should have. Because I, I actually really liked it. it but, uh, I mean, it was. It was a. Oh, really good quick, the fuck for you. All good right. Good the fuck for you. <laughs> good the fuck for you. I'm gonna say. Uh, 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 yeah, let me give you a hint. This is something you could totally guess. There is a. There's definitely a possibility, but you can guess his name correctly. All right, I'll just say this then. I, my E is a little weird, but whatever. You can read it. All right. That doesn't have any. All right, on three. I won't know. Oh, I gotta <laughs> right. All right, there you go. He just raises the E. Yeah. All right. Well, on... that would be really awkward considering there's two E's in there. All, All right, right. On three. One, two, three. <laughs> Frank. Frank. <nothing>. Steve? <laughs> <laughs> Frank? It'd, it'd be, it'd be, well, it'd still be Steve, kind of, right? If uh, I took the E's out. The answer, the answer is Omnom. Yeah, what the fuck? How would I guess that? Yeah, I thought you would have made like, oh, it's a fucking om nom or something like that. I would have also accepted oh, nom nom just because close I'm enough. not a baby. Nom nom. Have you gone fucking King Shark a baby? Yeah, he actually is. Wow. But like, he's an adorable baby. When are we going to get a baby King Shark plush, you know? I'll be in the next one. James Gunn, that's what he usually fucking does with sequels, <laughs> I guess. I'm still waiting for uh, Super 2 where they have baby uh, Rain Wilson. No one gets that. Super okay. great. Go watch it. Frontier Developments released which spiritual spiritual successor to the Roller Coaster Tycoon series in 2016? Wait, what? Frontier Developments released which spiritual successor to the Roller Coaster Tycoon series in 2016? Oh, I'm assuming that's a. Uh... Oh, what is that game called? All right, I think I'm gonna tell David. I'm not gonna say it. I, I might be wrong though. Wait, no, it can't be that. The fuck is it called? I think I got a rough guess. I forgot what it's actually called. I know this word's in it. Oh, oh, okay. I got it. Never mind. I remember. Dinosaur simulator. No, Probably that's not it. If you, think, if you think it's that, it's not that. All right, on three. One, two, three. Oh. There you go. They both there say plan go. coaster. That is indeed correct. David, yeah. what would you try typing? What would you try typing? What would you say writing first? Uh, I was about to put Planet Tycoon, by the way. I'm like, that's not right. Uh, I was putting Coaster Planet, and I was like, wait, no, other way around. Coaster Planet. Coaster, well, you know, he got the words right, just not in the right order. I have no I'm not going to make you guys answer this, obviously, but which 360 peripheral advertising made the claim that you are the controller? The move. The move. Uh, all right, here's the question. The creation of... I don't think either of you are getting this. The creation of which 2016 video game was inspired by the real-life experiences of its lead developer, Alex Preston, who has congenital heart disease? Doom. 2016. This is an indie game. This is indeed an indie game. I figured. Read that one more time for the, for the listeners and the viewers out there. The creation of which 2016 video game was inspired by the real-life experiences of its lead developer, Alex Preston, who has congenital heart disease. It's a very Real highly acclaimed indie game. 2016. And it's like, it's like real shit. This I game has a... Uh, I'm not going to say anything else, actually. Yeah. Uh, very highly acclaimed video game. Oh, I'm sure it is. I'm, I'm sure fucking it sure is. it is. Oh, I'm sure. 2016. I'm trying to think of indie games for 2016. Can't think of one, especially one with like character that has like, I'm assuming heart problems if it's going by his. Uh, clearly the Android Saga of Dragon Ball Z. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, they gave him the poison. Uh, and then they killed the Yamcha again. Um, fuck, I don't know. Fuck, I don't even grind it. All right, David. On three, one, two, three. Yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's. You know, what, you know what's really, you know what's funny? I have the F for when I was about to put Five Nights at Freddy's. I knew that wouldn't be right because obviously that's Scott, whatever the fuck's name is. Scott, Scott, Scott Coffin. Scott Pilgrim. Scott, Scott Coffin. That's where he's living now. Cause the, um, the answer is actually Hyperlight Drifter. 
Oh, that has to do with heart shit? I, I, I was going to say that I was, my hint was going to be like, uh, you referenced the game a lot this year because of Solar Ash, but yeah. I was like, eh. I want I want to play that game. I didn't know it was about that. I thought it was just a fun little action game. Oh, right. oh, here's a fucking question for you boys. All right, I like this one a lot. Uh, <laughs> yeah? <laughs> How does sex feel? Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 like a bag no, of sand. This is a really good question for you guys. You guys are both going to go, Fuck, who is that? All right. In what remains of Edith Finch? Yeah. Which character is revealed to have drowned on the on his family's boat crossing to America? Oh, I have to get the name right. I assume, the right? name. Is that, uh, uh, something, I don't know. Something name, Finch. I mean, I know who it is. I just don't know the name. In what remains of Edith Finch? Finches. Which character is revealed to have drowned on his family's boats crossing to America? I don't, I don't know. I know he has there. like a, a very foreign name, so there's no way in hell my white ass is going to remember it. At least I think it was a foreign name. Or was the. No, I think the wife was actually foreign, right? Oh, fuck. I don't remember. Because one of them was, and the other one was like not. Or maybe. I don't know. It's been over a year. I don't fuck it. I'm going to say. Uh, I'm not even right. Like, fuck it. I can't think of anything. David, you ready? Yeah. On three. One, two, three. It's Ben. It's actually Is that right? Odin Finch. Odin. I so you're close. Something along those yeah, lines. so you're close. Odin, you should have guessed that because of God of War. Come on. Yeah, oh, dumb. Yeah. They, they just showed that. I don't, I don't even remember his name being Odin. Was the wife's name? Because one of them ben. wasn't foreign, right? I no, thought I thought he like or maybe he wasn't or well maybe he was foreign but he was just from a different country because then he moved there and then meet at the wife or something I don't know maybe I'm fucking misremembering shit. Okay, next question. I guess they did. This move is the longest thing we've had since like actually. Like, All right, yeah. So we'll Stop do we'll do time. obviously just the best of one. Uh, which unreleased video game project by Cloud Imperium Games reached two hundred million dollars in crowdfunding by November twenty eighteen? I'm assuming that's uh I don't know who makes it, but I'm assuming it's uh see the game name. I'm assuming it's this, but because I don't know I don't know who developed it, but on three, one, two, three. Star Citizen is the correct. It's gotta be that fucking game. One day game. it'll come out. One day that's it'll what be actually real. Me. Oh Mark Hamill's in. Mark Hamill will be dead before that fucking game comes out. Let's see. Uh, in which 2014 video game does protagonist Daniel Garner attempt to leave purgatory by hunting down four generals of Lucifer's army? That was a mouthful. In which 2014 video game does protagonist Daniel Garner attempt to leave purgatory by hunting down four generals of Lucifer's army? That sounds so fucking familiar. What is that? Daniel Garner. That's the most generic white boy name I've ever heard. Uh, Is he channeling Lucifer to ask? Oh, it just comes out of his mouth. <laughs> like the genie? <laughs> well, I, was, I was thinking, remember in the Hellboy movie? I don't the one that came out? Oh, come on. It was like the funniest special effect in the movie. Like that one lady had like the thing. I'm sure if I got like really drunk, I'd really think that movie's hilarious. Yeah. Uh, chat box uh, says David turned to the grudge for a second. It's true. Uh, that's oh, yeah. true. He broke his neck. And Are you guys ready? Or or... No. Uh, I forgot what the fucking question was anymore. In... What game is about a dude trying to get out of hell by fighting fucking da- Dante's Inferno. I went. There you go. David. Sorry. Dark Siders Daniel. Two? I don't know. The no, answer is actually Painkiller. Oh, fuck. I didn't know his name was. I was Burner. thinking that, but I didn't. I think that was I guess that's the that 24 oh, is that the one that you threw away I mean that it's worth a lot of money because I was like the latest painkiller game painkiller hell and damnation was the one that I yeah, yeah. it has to ask me that one because that's the latest one no it's 2004 oh you said 2014 2004. yeah did I say 14? yeah he said oh yeah you said 2014 that's why I was yeah fucking it doesn't matter I probably yeah, would have right, gotten right, it anyway yeah. but so it's <laughs> okay. painkiller is a really fun game I not not yeah, really a story game. game though okay uh Let's see. In the 2012 strategic video game XCOM Enemy Unknown, what is yes. the name of the organization that is abbreviated to XCOM? 
Oh. It's abbreviated, so I have to come up with the full name. Mm-hmm. Extreme Corporation of Mannheim. Here's a here's a small hint. The X isn't isn't actually the word the first one starts with. So it's probably E X. I bet. Yeah, it's it's like extraterrestrial. Extraterrestrial. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Extraterrestrial communication. No combat organization. Man Mannheim. The rest of it doesn't make sense actually. Mortal Kombat. I don't understand the last part. And they really wanted that X com in there. That's why. So. Doesn't make sense. I'm gonna throw this card away because it's extraterrestrial combat unit, but I don't know why that. Oh, combat! I get it because com, c o m. Yeah, but then unit's yeah. part of it too, though, which is like. Yeah, well, I mean, sometimes you gotta like forget. Okay, we're almost done with this fucking. Get your, get your acronym. We're almost there. Jesus Christ. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Yep, oh, throw that one away. It okay. was. It was. It wasn't a bad question until it said, "Uh, it was Sega Genesis. Which yeah. which characters you got by a super suit?" And then it said "worm" somewhere, and I was like, "Well, okay, what the fuck." Ooh. Uh. Okay. Uh, here's one that Gore will know that David probably won't know, so we'll end this misery. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Tom no, Clancy's yeah. Rainbow Six Siege started development after the cancellation of which video game? Oh. I mean, I guess it could be that. I'm assuming it is. Uh, all right. I assume it was the death of this game. Indeed. Chat box. Right. On three. One, two, three. Rainbow Six Patriots is indeed the correct answer. David had Vegas three. Gore, congratulations. We have ended the misery. Welcome. Our score is Gore at 22, David at 6 and a third. Oh, yeah. We got oh, yeah. our last two cards of that deck there, and then we'll have one more deck, and we're done with this that whole thing. I got to go back to the fucking... I could probably just reread oh. the chart. I could probably go back and reread these cards. You'll forget the answer, so we can just... It'll be a never-ending Maybe. time loop. You should have put the pile like a pile of ones that you rejected, and then we'll just choose those. No, the ones you re- the ones I reject are literally the easiest ones. It's like, uh, no. what was Microsoft's first console that had a uh, uh, fucking uh, broadband adapter in it? Oh, Game GameCube. There you go. Mario, Zelda. We need David's revenge. Yeah, we- <laughs> I spent a lot of time curating a lot of questions for David, only for Gore to win. So I'm like, all right. <laughs> Well, I didn't win that. Well, I got one point. He got two points. So no, you had two points, I think, and David got one no, point. No, I think he got two points. I got the parasite Eve question right, though. Is the is the problem that we had there? I remember that. Yeah, actually, I misremembered stuff about the Chrysler building. I, think I just guessed. So, all right. And guess guess what? I haven't played it again yet. So speaking, of so guessing, I'll probably have to guess again if you ask the question. Okay, so the I'll keep this muted for now. We'll just talk about impressions about how we felt with this. Um, let me let me fix the the aspect ratio while I'm at it. Uh, general yeah, impressions, thoughts. Me, so I can't see. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm okay. gonna I gotta fix the box real quick, but I got it. General impressions, guys. What'd you guys think of this? How we feeling? Well, I thought it was a pretty solid showing. Honestly, it wasn't phenomenal, but it was uh, pretty solid. Okay. See, I think I think uh, a lot of people had their expectations a little too high. Sure. Uh, being being the only uh, at like big showcase this year because they had state of plays, but they were kind of smaller. Um, you know, they either they had a state of play that was about one game, or they had one that was focusing on one game and then had a couple other games. So this is the only showcase this year, really. So I think people were really expecting a lot, and I think I think they gave us a good amount. I don't think it's, it was no it was no slouch. Yeah, look, it gave us a new chess game. Um, this was the fucking stupidest way to start this. I mean, I knew exactly what it was. It was one of those stupid ads, but like, I don't get this ad at all. <laughs> like, I don't. I don't in know. retrospect, I'm like, every time I watch reactions, I skip it immediately. I don't give a fuck. It's true. Uh, uh, I watch like three reactions. So, things, so. Uh, let's see. April running chances. I was not expecting it to start with an ad. Yeah, that was really bizarre. It was yeah. bizarre, but I guess, like, I don't know. If you're going to show your new ad, I guess might as well do it at your your event. I'm sure they spent a lot of money on this. Oh, why? Yeah. 
I don't know who the fuck these people are. I don't either. I'm sure there's someone, right? Yeah. I'm sure they are. I'm sure they're YouTubers. Ugh. Anyway. <laughs> so, Gore, you liked it. David, you thought it was all right. I really, I really yeah. liked that. I thought, I thought considering it was, it was funny. Stuff, I thought it was good. I just don't think it was, like, amazing. Right. A lot of people didn't like it. Yeah, I, I didn't really care for it. Um, yeah, of course you don't. You don't play fucking games. It was, like, the the, the couple that I'm, I like, like, Deathloop. Uh, Guardians and uh, Alan yeah, Wake. Yeah, definitely didn't need to be cool. there again. It yeah, was so good I agree. Uh, and Alan Wake, like it's cool to see it, but they did. I don't really think they did a good job showcasing how it looks. Uh, they should do it side by side. As the same way like GTA, they should side by sides. Yeah. Oh no, uh, GTA really fucked it up. Yeah. At least Alan Wake. Alan Wake is is a game that makes sense to remaster yeah, yeah, yeah. because and it, it's on PlayStation. It's not. Cool. It's not on. Yeah, it's not. It was never on Sony consoles, and it, it has never been re-released before besides i guess pc but whatever sure. uh where gta has already been fucking re-released once so you need to show a comparison and they did a great job with their first comparison for Bless gta you. 5 uh when they compared it to the ps3 version when they released the ps4 version right and it was actually like it was like night and day it looked way better um they didn't do that this time because i have a feeling it's gonna fucking look marginally better <clears throat> so uh alan wake looked good but yeah uh I thought everything else they showed was really good. Uh, it went white screen again for us. Yeah, um, I, it's because every time I click off of it to fix something, it, it clicks off for some reason. But I'll yeah, there right. you go. Okay. Uh, so April, uh, April says I was expecting Sly Cooper in the case, but I'm sure I'll get it sometime next year. Uh, other than that, I wasn't disappointed. Right. Uh, Sly Cooper m- might be a thing. I I, I, w- I want to hold I, I want to hold my breath. But. I wasn't disappointed. Uh. I, the only thing is I avoided spoilers. Cause I, it's really easy for me to avoid spoilers because I'm just because one that no one spent a message in the chat, which is fine. But then two, I'm not on my phone ever during the day, really. So I'm able to uh, not notice that. But I did get spoiled by the Wolverine announcement. Just I just thought of the yeah. title real quick. Uh, but even then, like the video of it is like something we've talked about. I don't really care for anyway. So it didn't really bother me. Um, the. Uh, Never played KOTOR, so this the the beginning, the the, the big hype moment for a lot of people. The beginning didn't really resonate with me. I was like, okay, cool. Um, the a lot of games in the middle, I just didn't give a fuck about really. Um, and then like what? Let me see. Um, like Rainbow Six, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, about Rainbow Six for sure was a skip. Besides that, I don't care about the Tiny Tina. Yeah. It looks uh, like fun, but... Forspoken doesn't talk to me at all. Like, I don't really care. Oh. Forspoken um, doesn't speak to you? Nah. GTA, obviously, we touched, We just talked about that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Guardians. Guardians, Guardians you, you did look like shit. We, we, uh, we saw enough of it, so I didn't even watch it. I'm like, cool, I don't need to see any more of it. It was a good, it was a good trailer. I'm sure. But, I mean, I'm, I'm already going to check it out. So I'm like, oh, it was obviously there to show off, like, the game doesn't look like barf. So, yeah. Uh, don't need to see more death loops. Let's get past right that. Like yeah, that was a good trailer though. Uh, the <laughs> Kid A. Uh, I don't know what the fuck that is. So Kid A is a really like fucking some, good album. Yeah, I, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, but that care. was get, really get bizarre. Get out of my game stream. I don't give a fuck. Go away. That was I, really the, the fucking last thing we watched. The fucking. I feel like the Jeff Keighley thing had like a fucking concert thing, right, or something like that. It had some like weird musical thing or something, right? Did it? At one point, like it's just a musical thing happened. I'm like, get the fucking musical shit I out of our like, game streams. I it was like, a fucking yeah, it was like a music video. Remember, it got they, cut they, off halfway. They, yeah, yeah. I, oh, yeah, I guess you didn't watch it, so you yeah, I, I remember it. what you're talking about though. Yeah. Uh, this game looked cool, but I I don't know why. This game why. looks great. I'm uh, super fucking excited for this. Yeah, it it just it looks cool. I'm not sure if it's something I'm gonna check out right away, or probably something I check out online. But but nothing too too oh. soon. Uh, I haven't played the other Uncharted games. Didn't care about that. Uh, don't care about CG trailer. Uh, okay, who gives a shit if it's CG trailer? I mean, I, I want to see gameplay of it. Well, for fucking too it's fucking bad. Announcement of it. What the fuck? Yeah, they announced I know, it. But it's like, <laughs> but I'm, I know, but I, I. So here's the thing too is I think this is way announced way too far ahead. This is gonna be a game where you get way. This is way down the line. Uh, you don't know that. Because I'm, I'm figuring that this is the Ratchet and Clank team working on this one now. Maybe. Because the, 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 their studio cycle is that, that they were working... They got a whole new team now. Yeah, they got like fucking four teams apparently. Uh, the Radiohead thing was, I think, a the album, but like an, an exhibition showing that. 
Yeah. Uh, I, feel I wrote like... about what it's supposed to be, and I don't give a fuck. Uh, Shadow Boxes, I feel like Wolverine is next year. If it's next year, I'd be shocked. Uh, Wolverine, no, I mean, it's, it, next year. I mean it's, not gonna, it's most likely not going to be an open world game. I mean, I don't know even how you do that with Wolverine, and it makes sense. Um, what are you going to do? Is it going to be GTA with Wolverine? Right. I mean, that sounds dope, but... Uh, uh, someone said this in one reaction. Uh, they said they just want a Last of Us game with Wolverine. I'll be like, that sounds fucking awesome. Yeah, I right. just totally play that. <laughs> yes. I will 100% play it. Which was pretty much what Logan was, I guess, if you really look at yeah. it. But the movie. But so, so, okay. That, that, I'd, I'd 100% be down with that. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Uh, Pepperoni is... Uh, he says, I'm pretty sure Wolverine is being worked on by the Miles Morales team. So I'm trying to figure this out. Okay. So we got... How many teams are at, at Insomniac? I thought it was two. Oh, fuck. I don't know. I don't know. I could have sworn it was two that, uh, but it could be three, I guess. But they could have like two and maybe like a, a sub team kind of working in between because they were working on Spider Man. Then that team yep. worked on, on Miles Morales. I assume that same team is still working on, on Spider Man 2. Spider Man 2 might get delayed. Then they have, they had a, a Rift Apart. And I'm assuming the reason why this got shown off, which is the, tr the trailer as is, is I'm assuming the Rift Apart team is just moving on from this. But it could be. I don't know. Either way, I'm yeah. trying. To, I'm trying to figure out what their balancing is with that, uh, but this, this makes me think this game is just way not uh, happening for a while. Uh, like I said, and, and I just want to see gameplay of it. I don't. I I'm not really getting too too hyped off uh, CG cutscenes anymore just these days. Uh, it's cool it's happening, but I'm I'm not really like. I think it's an insomniac game. You could just pretty much. Well, guess I'm also exactly how the combat's gonna be. Sure, but I'm also know. not like a huge Wolverine fan, so I mean that that's part of it too. Uh, it's cool it's happening, but uh, it didn't really get to me. GT7, I'm not uh, a Sim Racer kind of guy. Looks pretty, though. Uh, let's see. Spider Man 2, CG looking trailer. cool. Yeah. Looking CG trailer, I don't like it. I know the gameplay of this, though. I haven't played two it's of them now. It's actually in game. It says in game, actually. So yeah. Technically not CG trailer. So I'm cool. I hope there's like, cool combos like that. That'll be fun. And then uh, nah, Venom. Right. You got to pay for those microtransactions and then, and then uh, God of War, oh, dead whatever uh, he dropped his ball so it sounds weird i feel uh, i don't want to sound like the way people usually do with this kind of shit but i hope this isn't hindered by being on ps4 i look i, I can already tell it looks better than it does god of war one no it does and it will but i mean like i hope that the actual like horizon i could tell you right now after playing a little bit of horizon zero dawn like the new game looks fucking way beyond what i was expecting because i like the the zero dawn looks great don't get me wrong but like fuck me and also this is the thing like compare last of us 2 to like even bloodborne like it's night and day and that was all on ps4 mm -hmm. so even if this is running also well on PS4, I'm sure it'll be 30 frames, obviously, and it won't look as good. It won't have, like, the high resolution and sure. and the textures won't be as good and stuff, shit like that. Um, it's still going to look way better. It'll still look next-gen, because Last of Us Part Two looks next-gen. Um, and if that ran at 60 frames, which it does now if you have PS5, um, that would be a next-gen. If that came out with the PS5, that would be a next-gen game. Like, that would no, be the most next-gen game I've ever seen. I, I agree. So, it's just that, that I want... That goes to Tsushima. I just want, like, Ratchet and Clank-looking games. Because that game looks incredible, I think. I love the detail of everything. Uh, I want to even just it, push it It does, even... but that's also cartoony. Like, you're you're going to... It's going to be very hard to sure. have a but, but realistic it, game. In some aspect, game this game... Every game that, that is on multiple generations is held back at some point. Because that's just game design. They have to make it all work at some point. Visually, they can up it as much as they can on the next one. But, like... Even like like play area wise, they can't. You can't do more on a console you don't have that for. Or make it even, you know. So yeah, I mean, but there's... the PS4, I don't think it's ever really had a problem with that though. Like, I only have a problem when the frame rate is in consideration. But it, like, there's a lot of games on PS4 that I just have giant areas. I mean, there's tons of fucking open world games. So I don't really. I mean, God of War is never going to be that big, you know. Like, the the open world in God of War 2018 is pretty small compared to like red dead redemption 2 or some shit sure so, like, hey, red hey, dead redemption 2 is huge and there's like no loading screens hey, unless you like fast i mean Actually, it, it, when it's hard them. to say like how something looks to be getting in and the generation as we said like two like last of us 2 versus like some even beginning and like you're taking like kill zone something even like night and day yeah. but i mean that's saying now like i'm sure once we get 
five years down the line, you're like, damn, like we had this looking game now where we could like, mm-hmm. I'm obviously early, early generation games are not going to really ever reflect that. But I think I just want them to push. There you are. Uh, I want to push. Uh, I think it'd be, I think it'd just be cool to push more of these, uh, these games. If, Cause I, I, it just feels weird that Sony was, was touting that so much, you know, like I'm cool about having like inter iteration of games. Like personally, I don't give a fuck too much, but like, it just feels weird they were touting that so hard, and then they were the one of the ones that were also doing it as well. Right. So, I don't know. Uh, but I, I just hope it's not. I hope that any game they're doing is not getting held back by other consoles. Um, but otherwise, well, yeah. so far, I feel like that's not the case with these. Sure, and I have to see it more to like even fill it, obviously. But uh, like Even with like, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, like, you, you can see the comparisons of like the PS4 version uh, with, the, with the fast travel compared to, like, with PS5, and the, like right there is just like it's instant on PS5. It's true that trailer did have um, gameplay too, so that's why I was I was pretty. There's pretty a lot of gameplay yeah. in this stream too, so like there's only a couple times where you didn't get any gameplay. That ass. Um, yeah, there you go. This game too. I, I understand this well, game. But... It's a. I don't understand. What what is there not to understand? <laughs> I don't understand what there is to game. understand. Uh, but yeah, overall, I didn't, I didn't really care too much. I didn't really have anything that that was was speaking to me. Also, I was. Low key, just really won fucking Last of Us factions. Like, yeah, I just I just want a good multiplayer game to play on my PS Five. Sure. Anyway, I, mean, I spoke, there are I, really I, good I, multiplayer games on there, but I spoke a lot. You guys go ahead now. Yeah. All right, so um, bring some positivity back in the line a bit. Uh, so nice of the old Republic. Uh, Chris and I were equally excited for this. That was a fucking sweet reveal for that uh i am optimistic especially after the kind of conference they did after the fact it sounds like they're really just going to try to rebuild the experience from the ground up and yeah hopefully not touch the original the... cast is back too they confirmed jennifer hale's yeah. in the trailer so uh so i'm i'm very excited to kind of see the, where this goes uh kotor is a fantastic game it's an absolute classic uh, it, it definitely is a little drink to go back to. Uh, I played it. Yeah, I tried to go back to it. Like, I tried to play it on my 360 with the Xbox emulation thing, which mm-hmm. it was all fucked up. But like, even gameplay wise, it's like, eh, it's aged quite a bit. Um, and I only got maybe halfway through that one time I played it again. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm happy it's getting remade. I'm a little worried that it's from a studio that hasn't really done a lot of their own things. Not that this is their own thing, but this is like they're building it from the ground up. So, like they've only really done, I think, ports of other Star Wars games, like the Republic Commando one that just came out. That was them. They did the the Switch ones, the Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy. They might have made some other games, but the, all they said, even the, during the little thing at the end, um, when they were doing updates, they said like, "Yeah, we we update a bunch of Star Wars games." So now. Yeah, it's, it's Revan. They're like, saying so. it really shitty, which is the fucking thing I was hoping we were just done with. Is this console exclusive or not? I hear it's console exclusive. Yeah, launch. it's kind. Of, it's timed exclusive. Okay, because everyone's going back and forth on whether it's not. Which is funny as fuck because the original Kotor was Xbox exclusive, so now yeah. like the remake is fucking is a timed exclusive. It'll eventually come to Xbox. Well, who knows? We're still waiting for fucking Final Fantasy VII, right? Yeah. When the fuck is that coming? Uh, uh, I mean, the PC version's been data mined already, so yeah, by Xbox. Yeah, by Xbox. Chiv- um, Chivos. Speaking of the next game, really quick, uh, because Shadowbox said he said uh, this game looks sick. Oh, for Project Eve. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. this game looks fantastic. Kind of gives a lot of uh, Eldritch vi- horror vibes. Gives a lot of Bayonetta vibes. Gives us a lot of something uh, else. This, this game looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm down for this. Yeah, I mean, it looks fun. It's made by a Korean team, as we uh, insinuated in the beginning of yeah. the stream. Go back to that. Uh, or not stream. If you're listening on YouTube, it's a video. Um, uh, it looks fun. Uh, it, it, it's weird because it looks really over the top. But then when it comes to the regular gameplay, it looks more like a Dark Souls kind of... Not, not I, always, I always say like Dark Souls, but it's more just like... It feels it's not like a little bit slower than perhaps like a bayonetta. Yeah. It looks like Astral Chain. Yeah. Like Astral Chain was like it was platinum, but it was like not lower tier, I shouldn't say that, because I heard it was great, but uh it, it was I, not I, as I flashy. I had fun with it. 
Yeah. Like, look, right here. Like, you, you think, like, uh, like uh, Platinum would be, like, really snappy. The camera angles yeah. are really good, by the way. Um, Really good. C good camera angles. I do like the enemies. Yeah, the monster um, designs are fantastic. I yeah. like the environments that we've seen so far. There's... It feels like this is going to be, like, just a fun game. It's not going to yeah. be a game that you play for a grandiose story. It's not going to have some kind of... I'm sure I'll uh, have it, though. I, I'm sure they'll fucking go wild with it. I mean, we got yeah. demons in space. It, it's, yeah. But th this is going to be a game that's just going to come out. It's just going to be fun. Like, it, 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 it'll it be fun. I, I hope it's Dead Space with an anime girl. Hell yeah. Like, everything's getting infected by this, like, alien parasite thing. Giant Which, beasts come out of nowhere. Alien no, no, parasite Eve. Like, uh, Exactly. Yeah. That's what I was. Yeah. Well, they say they, they, they the game's called Project Eve. Her name's Eve, and actually, right after they say her name, she says, "Oh, there's a bunch of parasites here." I was like, ah, "I see what you're doing." Um, yeah. I knew it wasn't Parasite Eve though. At first, I was like, "Eve, oh," and then I was like, "This looks." Did you did you freak out for a second, this, David? This is, I did. <laughs> yeah. I I mean, there's no way. Like, if you were pissed off about third birthday, then I you better be pissed off about this being Parasite Eve. Because, I mean, first of all, there's way more ass shots, fun. first of all. There's way more ass shots, first of all, than in Third Birthday, already in this one trailer. And, what the, look. Yeah, but she, she's, she's, she's killing things, things, though. Yeah, with the camera halfway up her ass. But, uh, I don't mind. It's, it's a colonoscopy. I do like, it is. Um, and I don't appreciate it. But, uh, like, I do like that it has a lot of gameplay that is borrowed from other games. Like, there, like, there was one second there. And I love the bosses. These look dope. Um, there's like one second where it goes like into witch time, which is the thing yeah. for Bayonetta when you block something and they go in slow motion. Uh, so I'm glad, I'm glad games are taken from uh, our games. Actually. I don't mind that at all, as long as you do it well. Also, someone said that this logo looks exactly like the logo for, what's that, is it called Eve? There's a, there's uh, a... Eve of, uh... Eve Online? Yeah. Someone says it looks exactly like it. Just the yeah, Eve it does part looks have like it. the exact kind of template of Eve Ex of Extinction on PS4. Yeah, so... No, not even, no, 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 the Eve... Eve Online? Uh, Eve Online, the uh, one with the ships. Yeah, it looks, oh, yeah. it looks similar. We have, very similar. We have a lot of comments in chat. So it, uh, it said, uh, "I love the Kratos saying no." Uh, oh. One H one D says, "Yo, uh, what's going on, guys? This is a pretty impressive Sony showing." Yeah. Um, yeah. let's see. Chatbox says the fourth birthday. Yeah. And then, uh, everybody says, uh, "For a second, when I saw the trailer, I thought it was Persona Eve game." Yeah. I see. I, I for a second, you can see in my face at one point. I'm like evil, and but I was like, this is not a fucking parasite. You gave the fuck. And first of all, it's not like Capcom, so they they won't give up their franchise. Yeah, so fucking, you know. Um, that's Capcom, right? No, that's Square. It was Square. Well, either way, it wasn't that. So Capcom would be like, dinosaur. yeah, Capcom. Well, I say Capcom because Square Enix is trying to rip off them. So, um, the they're a little. Game, yeah. No, David, talk, talk about this game, right, David? Yeah, uh, you're you're a big Borderlands guy. Yeah, fucking more of the same, fucking again and again. I just don't uh, get it. Like, why would you even do this and then just make it a shooter game again? I, I, they, I mean, exactly it. Like, I they was have bow and arrow. They have bow and arrows. They have swords in it, but they don't focus on it. And I'm like, it would have been cool if it was a Borderlands game and you just like get awesome swords, like just loot and like any other. G uh, well, I say JRPG, but RPG. Yeah, Godfall. Um, yeah, Godfall. God falls better. Learn from your own. Than every other game ever. Bitch. They published that too, so they should know. But um, I, honestly, the loot in God falls good. I don't care. And also guns. I God fall again like a month ago. It was lots of guns. Fun. Lots of guns. How about swords, you stupid assholes? Yeah. It's a see, here's the thing. Like, I wanted to mind if they went with the usual fantasy trope of like, oh, there's like flintlock and a pistol. There's some kind of like very rudimentary gun kind of in there because yeah. when i hear and this is the way it was pitched and the way that they're basically in this trailer hyper pandering to it's borderlands for D D fans here you go fucking have your thing you know you it's gonna make fun of that and it's not gonna be funny yeah, we've yeah. already had it making fun of it and it's already been mediocre at best yeah i know so, the, well the dlc uh, i like the the one that this is pretty much based on so is it called yeah. on dragon keep i think it's called uh, that was called the DLC in Borderlands. It was two, yeah, it had to have been two because Tiny Team wasn't. Um, let's see, I think it was called Assault on Dragon Keep or something that this is based on. What, what do you want to say, Adrian? Pepperoni says, I would love this just to be love, love for just be uh, 
Medieval weapons, but I'm still hyper Borderlands. And yeah. then Chatbox says, It's not uh, Borderlands, though. It's Tiny Tina's fucking game show, or wherever it is. Wonderlands. There you go. Chatbox says, It's just a Borderlands DLC, it seems. And that's what I was going to say is it feels like yeah. it was a hey, DLC oh, that they wanna... ended up making too much of a game of. They're like, Oh, let's make its own game. It's a DLC, but one thing that's really fucking annoying about this, if you want to get it on PS5, it's seventy dollars. If you yeah. want it on PS5, it's seventy dollars. You can right now at least on Amazon, you cannot buy a regular version. So they have like this next level version for PS5. That's the only one you can pre-order and it's seventy bucks. So yeah, but you're getting next Shout level. Out. Next level, next fucking level. Yeah, Better there you come go. Look, like what? machine. One H one D says seventy dollars. What's steel? You should what be fucking steal. grateful, yeah. dude. It's a steal for them, fucking stealing my money for the grateful. same fucking they, game. You should be grateful they didn't charge 80. Godfall was worth 70. <laughs> just saying. At least that was a new game. <laughs> it's kind of. I mean, yeah. uh, so I'm, I'm fucking disappointed with this game. I, I, yeah. I actually was kind of holding out a little bit of hope for this, just because I'd be like, all right, I'd be down for Borderlands with a, a fantasy format. Let's go. But The now, bow and arrows look fun. Literally just Borderlands. If there's a lot of bow and arrows in the game, then I'm done. Uh, I'm done. I'm down. I'll probably get this game most likely because I, I do. I do now. like the Borderlands gameplay. I just I'm, at this point I'm sick too. of the humor. I just wish it did more than just the Borderlands gameplay every fucking game. Uh, yeah, but people don't want that. They just want more Borderlands. So, like that's what they should have did to begin with. Honestly, besides do your precious Battleborn, but it, because all right, all right. I don't want. I don't want to shit on you. Battleborn was a mistake, obviously. Listen, you can you can agree with that. Had a really terrible launch launch window. Right. What I was gonna say though is that it was a mistake because if they did Borderlands three when they should have done it, which was a few years after Borderlands two and that pre sequel shit, then at this point I could see Gearbox doing more things. You know, like publishing more games because they you know they got more money because Borderlands always sells well. And they could have already had like a a really cool Borderlands spinoff besides this fucking thing. Yeah, I could see a different feature, but because Battleborn failed so fucking hard, they had to go back to Borderlands three, and they said we're going to stick to Borderlands. We're not doing anything else. We'll publish some fucking games here and there, but for the most part, we're only doing Borderlands to the point where now Kevin Hart's in a fucking movie. So like I don't know. So more like, more comments. Like if they just did Borderlands three back in twenty fifteen or sixteen, whenever Battleborn came out, then I I feel like the future for Gearbox would have been different. Either way, Gearbox and Randy so, Pitchford. Yeah, 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 exactly. Okay. So, uh, a couple in the chat. Let's see. Uh, Pepperoni says, I feel like it should be at least 50. Uh, Creature Vice says, Randy Pitchford. I, th- I think it should be 40, honestly. I should say that one for a second. But, I, I, uh, 1H1D said, uh, Gearbox made the shittier Aliens game, right? Yeah, well, they, just like with Duke Nukem Forever, they took it from somebody and then polished it up. Uh, I think they worked. M- on colonial marines a lot though i think they did most of the campaign but they didn't do the multiplayer i don't think so but duke nukem forever they did, they barely did anything with that so yeah two two long gestating failures in a row and then know? yeah so that's the thing is uh great advice that randy pitchford is a marketing genius remember it wasn't just the, it wasn't just the release window i am more it was randy randy pitchford was actively yeah. trying to fucking take down overwatch yeah that was a failure i mean he's a he was a a genius a until then because even uh, because like Duke Nukem Forever like looked bad, but the way he was marketing it, pretty much himself, because he was always in videos about it, was pretty smart. Like he would make fun of it. He'd be like, "Yeah, we're polishing it up. You know, it's oh, we got delayed again. Oh shit, oops. You know, like he would make jokes about it. Same thing with Aliens until he lied about that. Yep, <sighs> made fake gameplay up, fucker. But um, I don't, know. I don't want to talk about Randy Pitch for him. I agree. Game? On to Force Spoken. Uh, this game looks fun. It looks hundred fucking percent. This game looks fun. Maybe not funny, but fun. I will say. No, uh, this the attempt at humor was. I, it, was it was an attempt. I, I'm sure the dialogue gets better. It might just Cat. be one of those awkward moments of your first getting to know the characters kind of thing, but they come into their own. And I agree yeah. with uh, what Chris said during the stream. That's a great looking fucking cat. That's that a good damn. good looking cat. I will say the character model for her is really good, but then they showed a couple other. Especially the faces, other characters. I'm like, ooh. I don't want to say in the reaction, but you can see my my face. I'm like, yeah, because they they look grody. But she, her, she looked good. Sorry, uh, you went off I know. Things, but... right. uh, I'm just replying um, in the chat. What you guys talk. Go for it. Right. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, but yeah, no, like I, I think the gameplay itself looks really fun. My one thing that I'm worried about, they have yet to show a really cool open world to me. Like they showed an uh, open world. It's big and it'll be cool yeah. to traverse it, but they haven't shown me the reason why I want to traverse it. Like, whoa, yeah, why don't I want to go over there? anything in the world, really. Yeah. Yeah. And to be fair, they haven't shown a lot of gameplay for this game yet. Like we saw a snippet of it like a few months ago, I think during yeah. one of the other state of plays and, oh no, it was during the Square Enix thing, I think. Um, yeah. And then this is the most we've seen of this game, I think, right now. And the gameplay is looking solid. It looks like a mix of, yeah. uh, I said this during the stream, like an Infamous and Spider-Man. And I'm all about that. Let's fucking yeah. go. No weapons, too. It's just magic, which is cool. And I love, like, every, like I, I like that more games are doing this where you are just going. You're running. You're fucking leaping like this. Like, you're not slow. It's not like, oh, yeah. fuck, it's going to take me three hours to get there. But, like, she, this is the slowest I think she could move. Um right now but like yeah she's like fucking flying i love that that seems like, like it'll just be fun to control exactly yeah, like, I looking through the variety of spells it looks like i'm curious yeah, if there's gonna be like any spell interactions like maybe when you have like that bubble ability going you can have like another one to combust it or something yeah I, i'm curious I'm like sure. how in depth the combat will actually go right there looks very much like infamous whenever she's like yeah. shooting yes. with her hand um like Chatbox says, this yeah, is see, that, face, that face is bad. That was a bad face. I don't know what the fuck happened there. <laughs> I don't know. Like, that face is bad, too, the next one. But uh, you already missed it. Like, well, you'll see it. That's there a bad was. face. And her hair looks terrible, too. Like, everything else looks so good graphically, but yeah, that's a bad face, too. I don't know what the hell's going on with the other faces. But, uh, I don't know. And gameplay wise, looks great. A lot of particle effects, which I like. I like particles. Uh, yeah, this looks like a, cool. that looks like an unfinished part of the map right there. I don't know why that looked weird. <laughs> like it, like the lo map didn't load in yet, and she just jumped off of it. She was weird. born that um, way. Says one eight twenty. Yeah. Well, you know what? Maybe, Honestly, maybe this game kind of gives me uh, another feeling of too. Is like this feels like Avatar: The Last Airbender. When you get into some of those really sure. intense fights in the show, like that is like some of the cool bending shit <sighs> you see. Cool. This honestly actually does kind of make me hope that like one day a studio does another solid attempt at that series for a game because seeing what this game can do with its magic and the kind of environments oh, that'd be fucking great well i got that netflix show coming out so hell yeah yeah so maybe it'll renew interest and someone will make a game oh man, we'll see. yeah oh uh, he's in hey he, we'll talk about it later but he's in nicktoons battle royale or whatever the fuck it's called hell yeah so, uh yeah. speaking of uh, Ong, as they call him in a Oh yeah, oh, this, this lady with a with a hat. She's like, "Hey, I'm the boss. I'm gonna beat you up now." Oh, uh, go go on the ground. All right, that's it. Oh yeah, well, yeah. Speaking uh, of, uh, here's the toilet break. Yeah, uh, I'm so yeah, yeah, Ubisoft. Fuck you. Stop it. Uh, Tom Clancy's Three. dead. All right, he doesn't want his fucking his big military like realistic fucking Siri like really really deep into the, like the like politics and fucking like real world things he doesn't want his series to turn into now there's aliens oh no always and now the fucking what is that xd game uh oh it. man <laughs> everybody, everybody's everybody's punk rock bro like the fuck no Ray says wrong. uh siege is, does not interest him i'm gonna say it right here yeah this game looks lame i'm sorry um Agreed. i will be excited die. if they announce a new game. I will die. Well, that's true. But uh, I will be excited most likely when they eventually announce Splinter Cell. But even though I'll be excited, I will be very skeptical. Unless they show gameplay, then I'll immediately hate it because I'm sure it's going to be a fucking stupid ass open world, Ghost Recon, Far Cry fucking piece of shit. Go over here and climb the towers or whatever the fuck you do in Ghost Recon. I know it's going to be. I know it will be, and you probably won't even be Sam Fisher. You'll be some generic fucking echelon member or something. You'll be John Miller or some shit, and it's gonna suck. But uh, I will be excited when they first announce. Yeah, so people, people, <laughs> people are backing that up. Uh, they say I like how we can get this, but not Splinter Cell. And then uh, yeah, one H one D says maybe 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 it's a good thing because if they do Splinter Cell, you know it's gonna be fucking the same shit. They, it's not gonna feel like Splinter Cell, just like Ghost Recon doesn't feel like Ghost Recon anymore. Where it was actually like like deep like strategy and shit. Like you actually had like just like Rainbow Six, it was like you actually had to think things out and like fucking use the environment as cover and like hide in mud and shit. And fucking 
in the new Ghost Recon, people have shown clips of the, them just going in, headshotting everybody. Bam, 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 bam. Just like, it, it might as well be any shooter at this point. What the fuck yeah. is the point? Why is it called Ghost Recon? It should have been called fucking Tom Clancy's uh, Rolling in His Fucking Grave number two. But, and then but you can fight the Predator. That's true. That, to be fair, that was the coolest part. 1 H1D says, I mean, This, this seems like a cool. fun PVE, but damn it, where's Splinter Cell? Uh, Green Street Fresh says, Splinter Cell Battle Royale with a hell yeah face. Hell yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, you know what? It might be that, too. What, what like was a that? Stealth, a stealth one. What was that game that you saw that was Spies vs. Mercs? Oh, it was called Spectre. Yeah, there you go. That's our, that's our beacon. Yeah. yeah, that looks cool. I hope uh, that's good, too. It it, the it's, it's dumb that there's right now not a lot of stealth 3D games. There's a, there's one coming out this month uh, called Origami 2, I think. That's about it. Though. A big budget, right? Because like, I, I, like Hitman's the only like big like, budget. No. Like, I guess Death Stranding has a little bit. Kind of, yeah. Consider that. Uh, I guess Hitman, yeah, yeah, Hitman. Chatbox says I got Ghost Recon Breakpoint on release and it was dog shit. I got my refund for that pile. Dude, oh, I yeah. heard Breakpoint was. We we, we played that beta. No, we played Wildlands. What's Wildlands? I thought it was Breakpoint. I did not. I never played Breakpoint. So, and we got it. it fucking, was we got it a fucking uh, a Humvee. Yeah. We 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 fell down a mountainside. Yeah. Then we I got left behind at one point. I remember I had to run because there was no car. I'm like, <laughs> and then we this is fun. And then we got to a little like like base. We killed everyone yeah. in there and we took it over. Had had a five star wanted like like GTA style, but literally they just couldn't kill us. Like, like, we just, we quit me. out because we just they just you couldn't kill us. You know what that sounds us. like? It sounds like Just Cause. Yeah. Ghost Recon is now Just Cause. Great. And both uh, Death Loop is kind of stealth. That's fair. Uh, they wasted. That's true. Dev Loomis. They sure. wasted John Bernthal in that shitty game. They did. Yeah, I actually watched all of his cutscenes because I, I love John Bernthal. I was like, and the video with all of his cutscenes, I'm not even kidding, was like 30 minutes long. I'm like, you hyped this up with John Bernthal in it. He was in it for 30 minutes, and I watched it. And I didn't know what the fuck was going on, but it was fun watching John Bernthal in the game, I guess. So. Okay. Uh, also, Whatever. real quick, uh, Hitman 2 uh, PS4 is going to be in the uh, Games of Gold collection. Uh, yeah. If you have Hitman 3, you can use that copy to import into Hitman 3. So you can get the Hitman 2 levels and update it in the Hitman 3 engine. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So if you are Hell wanting something yes. like that, go for that. Actually, I think Hitman 3 right now on Game Pass is like, I mean, not Game Pass, on Gamefly is like 20 bucks. So, like used. Which I think is like the cheapest I've seen it so far. So it might be sold out, but I saw it the other day. I was like, oh, but I have it. So. Yeah, I saw it at uh, my local Walmart. For all like right. 40 so if this wasn't easy. leaked already, this would have been really cool. Um, But it was already leaked. It was still it was really kind of... cool to see. It was still cool. Um, Like, I wish they did a comparison. I said this, too. Uh, I wish they compared it. But uh, you could tell the character models are definitely updated. Because yeah. uh, they even at the time, they weren't great. Especially his wife. He's, she still looks fucking weird. But uh, his wife always looked fucked up in the original game. I was like, Jesus um but uh yeah you can tell like the lighting is a little bit better even though lighting was, was always good um and his his character model is a little bit better uh, a little bit more grizzled they give him more uh fuzz it looks like this game's fucking awesome this game's great uh it comes with all the dlc too and i think it's only 30 bucks so not bad oh not bad. i can't wait for the fucking verizon dlc it's digital only though right no huh no it's physical it looks like it's gonna right be now it doesn't have a physical right? it doesn't have a physical yet but I wouldn't be surprised if they confirm it. I thought they there was one yet, but pre-order. Not... Like you... Oh, the listing was up, right? You can pre-order it. You can pre-order the digital right now. But uh, I, I looked up everywhere. I couldn't find it. Unless it may, maybe it's a GameStop exclusive. I mean, that wouldn't surprise me. They've done that in the past. But, uh, but yeah, I hope it's a physical. I want to get it on a PS5. And it comes out in less than a month, so... Shit. The perfect amount of time in between an announcement for a remaster, I think. Like, just give us some a month. Uh, speaking, speaking of, of bad, bad remasters, uh, so it, and... it, I saw or posted the physical in the UK. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I did but see that. I'm yeah. sure that'll that'll. I'm over. sure America will get it. They, they'll yeah, get it. Just it. Case yeah, because even in Japan they're getting it, so they'll. they'll Let's they'll... get it digital. I'll probably get it. if it's only in in Japan. I'll probably buy it. Play Asia then. Because I'm sure they'll play. So. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, but this is the coolest thing they showed in this GTA 5 thing: the seamless character switching. That's the only thing. Uh, besides that, like they, I can't tell what's different. Maybe there's a good video out already of showing 
the scenes they showed here compared to the scenes in the original two releases. It's you, just, you can't spiff it really. up that much more without, like, remaking it. Yeah, well, remaking it. Or, or, like, just actually going in and adding new textures to everything. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. Fuck it. I haven't Next played game. the actual campaign <laughs> since the 2013. So I might yeah, it, go into it, but feel good in six. I mean, uh, to answer I, I, your question, crazy pepperoni, uh, because people buy it. Yeah. So it's the really, same really, thing I, that uh, what's his? We're gonna assume what the question is. Skyrim. Yeah. yeah. We'll stop making more yeah. ports when you stop buying. This is it. the new Skyrim, oh, and, and that's funny because the new Skyrim is still Skyrim, but so <laughs> whatever. Super duper edition. <laughs> story really says uh, shit. One eight. Oh, I gotta pause for a second. One eight twenty says, "Why did they use a control engine for for Alan Wake? I think they're just straight up just." bumped up the resin and brought it over well they uh, definitely updated the character models because they look different yeah and, and so many points to gta 5 yeah so uh, the the weird thing oh about... there's also times in the background you can see like trees are different too so they definitely upgrade some stuff in the island wake so so yeah. the funny thing about gta is yeah it's popular obviously it's direct auto so they sell a lot but the big push for a lot of the physical games in that is that that was how shark cards went on sale yeah. So you buy the game new. It comes with like twenty dollars or something of shark cards, but the game itself is like ten or something like that or something like that. I don't know what exactly it is. And it's like twenty. I don't think I ever went down. But time. but the, the shark cards are like fifty maybe I guess or something like that. I don't, I forget what exactly the shark cards were. But yeah, it's were, the premium edition. I know you're talking about. People were buying that game for uh, discounts on the shark cards, which is what yeah. really inflated that uh that that uh. How many sales it had in total? Yeah, because it's it's still in the top twenty every year. Pretty yeah. Much. Anyway, which uh, I mean, game, at this point, everybody has that fucking game. You could get that game fucking anywhere. So this game is fucking looks great. This is one of the. Ghost Fire looks great. Oh, this looks I'm, fantastic. I'm super excited for this game. Uh, I'm a little worried that they still haven't announced the actual release date because it was supposed to come out October and then Next they delayed month. it obviously. So I'm. Um, I was like the same thing for God of War. Like God of War is supposed to come out this year, and then no date. Like Horizon has a date. But, yes, that will come to Xbox God 2020. Yeah, this game will. Uh, same thing with Deathloop eventually. But um, yeah. Wait. Uh, what else will go to Xbox? I bet, is there something else that will? Is there any other Bethesda games that are exclusive to PS5 that are coming? No. Okay. No, there's those two. Um, just. To make sure uh it looks really fun i want to see more gameplay just uncut because i'm still not exactly sure how the combat works mm. i mean it looks like just like and it looks like what was that one magic based combat game that came out a, like a few years ago it was on steam it was uh, called Lich something Thumb? battle wait yeah Lich Thumb. that's what it was yeah it reminds me of that a little bit because it's like a lot of that um i never played that game i've only seen gameplay so i, I couldn't tell you how it played but uh yeah, it looks cool gameplay wise. Like I like this, but uh, the thing that really is speaking to me is just the weird fucking everything. Everything's weird. I love it. Uh, this, that shot looks like something from like Green Knight. It looks yeah, great. Actually. Uh, yeah, actually. If Giants. Pepper Ray says Ghost Rider looks a little wonky in terms of cutscenes. Sure. Yeah, yeah. The character models. If I feel like it's only gonna be that one character model because I feel like everybody else is gonna be like weird monsters yeah. and shit. So. Yeah. I, I don't think that matters really. I think it's. I, I have a feeling the story is not going to be a huge thing in this game. It might be I weird and like kind it's of... It's going to make the story a huge thing. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I, I mean, like, it's not going to be, like, a character. You know, be like, oh, I'm a character. It'll be, like, weird shit and, like, weird lore. And, like, fucking... Like, you'll probably learn about each of these demons they're fighting. It'll be... I bet it'll, it'll do, like, a Dark Souls thing. Where you, like, learn about it just through, like, little, like, notes and, and like... Not swords, obviously. That's where you learn more about the lore in Dark Souls. But, uh... Right? Isn't that true? Like, yeah. like there's all the and items and gear and stuff. Yeah, that guy the items. Um, which is similar. Like, Nier has that, too, actually. Um, uh, Nier has a lot of that, too. Let's see. When he says, so this is a Microsoft-published game, two Microsoft games in the PlayStation show? Yeah, it's not so. published. Not yet. They yeah, can't they, publish they, it they, yet. They, yeah, they kept the uh, publishing agreements. Technically not, but it is a currently owned. Eventually, it will be a published yeah. Microsoft game. Uh, Green says, Bioshock Tokyo. True. Uh, yeah, I'm getting a little Bioshock vibes. It's like Bioshock if it was like real. It was a, made by a, a, a crazy Japanese studio, which is exactly what uh, Tango Gameworks is. So. Right. Because uh, the Evil Within games are fucking nuts. Are. I never played all the all the way through those games, but uh, I've seen playthroughs and they're fucking nuts. I love them. 
Uh, Pepper Ray says, love designs. And then Wayne Duane says, probably uh, learn from the stupid, uh, the stupid audio logs past. Yeah, I bet it'd be like audio logs and shit like that. I don't have an issue I'm sure. with finding audio logs. And stuff no, like I'm okay. That. I'm okay with that. I, I'd rather just keep doing crazy shit in this game. Like, I, 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 there's too many games with a story. Hey, cut it with the stories. Okay, you know what? Also, cut it with being good. There's too many good games. <laughs> God damn. Backlog's looking sad. All right. Yeah. Uh, this Marvel, Guardians. Baby. Uh, yeah. This was actually a decent trailer. Not it, This stream had a real problem with people not being funny. Uh, this trailer wasn't funny either, but, uh, yeah, I mean, what are you going to do? I don't know. I think Kratos said something funnier than fucking any of these co comedy trailers have. But, uh, gameplay wise, I still think this looks fun. And graphic wise, I think Shit, it looks really good. Yeah, that dog is really that's, good. That's a good looking dog. Yeah. That dog look, that's Cosmo. What's that dog doing? He's a Russian, uh, Cosmo dog. dog do? I wish he was T-posing. Um, but this looks fun i don't know it looks like it's gonna take you to a bunch of different areas i want to know how long it is because i feel like this game could either yeah, it could be totally really fun over, as a, as welcome. Eight to, yeah it could be a fun 10 hour game or it could overstay its welcome uh it looks I like it has space combat like though which is cool. i could see it being around 15 20 also um because it also has the dialogue choices so yeah like it would have some RPG elements there. I wouldn't be. I, I'm sure it's gonna be like semi open world too. You can come back to different areas and stuff. Kind of like a like a Mass I guess. Effect. I was the, yeah that or I think Adventures you could do that right in the story mode. If it was like really areas. good writing behind it, I'd totally be out for like a Mass Effect style like Guardians game. That'd be really fun. I think. I, I feel like that's basically kind of what this yeah. is. But like I talk about like yeah. like, a, like a robust like that kind of like scale. Sure. But, I, but it'd take really good writing to like make me not be annoyed by characters that long <sighs> well marvel wouldn't have that they don't yeah. want really good writing they just want dumb asses to clap in the theater or in their own filth in their in their rooms i don't know why the fuck this was here like i i at yeah. first i was like wait is this that battle royale game it doesn't make sense why would it be here um maybe is this is this vampire masquerade because at first it's like i don't know I, I don't remember seeing the game i mean i don't remember what the vampire masquerade bloodlines game looks like at this point because it's been like so long yeah. um but, but yeah, I mean, and then this the is shot, still Vampire like, the Masquerade. It's just not the one we were. Yeah, no, for. no, it's not the one that I'm actually looking forward to. Kind yeah, of. I, I, really I don't like play, I don't play Vampire Masquerade anything, the tabletop, other games, nothing. Um, but I love vampires, and I want to play a game where you can role play as a vampire, and you can pick your own fucking like gang. I guess there's like a bunch of gangs and shit, right? Yeah, yeah. To kind of go not a gangs, little bit but... into the lore, because like there's different families of vampires. Yeah, families and. <laughs> What kind of frustrating about Family. a battle royal of Vampire the Masquerade is literally the whole point of Vampire the Masquerade is the masquerade. It's right. all about vampires usurping society and being in control behind the scenes. They don't do obvious shit like this. Well, they do though. Look, That's, that was kind of the whole point. Is any vampire that was ever like getting too out of line and causing too much of a stir? You fucking they put him in a battle royale. Fucker. Yeah, oh. they put them in oh. Royal. So, well, there you go. That's what they did. I, I want to say one thing before you say whatever. Um, uh, they at the end teased a bunch of soldiers, and I'm like, oh, cool. So now it's just a battle royale. That's great. <laughs> so now it's just a bunch of soldiers shooting fucking other people with guns. I'm like, all right. So it would be kind of cool, maybe, because there's a lot of battle royale games coming out now where, where that it's just like wet, like weapons. Well, right like swords and shit um which is all right cool so it'd be cool if it's like you're actually using the vampire abilities which it looks like you still are but it's heavily reliant still on the guns it looks like but anyway go ahead. got a lot of chat messages so we got uh oh yeah going back to uh guardian chatbox says let me guess troy baker star lord nolan with his rocket i don't think i don't think so actually i don't think so yeah, but those I mean, are very they, good guesses I, though yeah i mean they could just take them from star lord kind of looks like troy baker it. That's racist. This is both white. Uh, let's oh, see. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking that. Yeah. All the uh, all the Marvel games look really good. Uh, they look good graphically. Sure, they look good. So I shady mean, that Sony they got. Sh they should. They so should considering who's publishing them or so like. So shady that Sony got all of them. But whatever. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, that's true. Guard is a little rough at the moment, but not the same, but also not the same size as Edward Verney. Uh, Chatbox says, I played Blood Hunt. It was pretty generic. And then, and then yeah, because the, the beta about, came out like a little while ago. The chat's talking about uh, Masquerade 2, what happened with that. And then uh, 
They talk uh, about the. the I mean, I know, I know the the, the lead writer. I think fucking like I think he got canceled or some shit. Yeah. Um, but that doesn't mean like what's where's the development? Like, oh, the lead writer left or director. Okay, fine. But like the game's supposed, the game got announced like three years ago. It was supposed to come out, I think, like early last year or some shit. Yeah, right? even Wilder, the game was announced three years ago with an R, and it had like a big R. fucking R. convention event. R. And then right. from there, R. the last time we saw of it was, I think it may have even been like the E3 or Summer Games. Like yeah, that. I think like trailer. Summer Games Fest. Yeah, it was yeah. Ga- Summer Games, whatever the hell it was called last year. Uh, um, and then it looks good too. It looks fun. I, I mean, I want to play it, but. Uh... Yeah. yeah, and then Chatbox says it looks. It, the cool thing is that you have to hide when you're uh, in front of the public when you're feeding. Oh, cool. really? Uh, right, and well, then... there you go. Hey, there you go, David. I mean, you have a giant gunfight and stuff. That's fine, but if you eat a guy, you have to hide in the. You have to hide. So. And Pepperoni says, "Now that's just racist." Yeah, uh, Adrian. Oh fuck. Okay, are you talking about Deathloop? Uh, uh, I think. I'll, I'll just say that this trailer, every trailer for Loop is, it's, this is how it starts whenever I watch them. I'm like, all right, another one. And then I watch it, I'm like, that was a good trailer, so I'm not even that same. upset. That's that's usually where I'm at. Like, they show a lot of the same stuff, but it's always, like, really stylized, really, actually kind of funny, too. Like, the character here, um, you know, he's say, like, damn, I look good, you know, whenever he sees himself. Like, just little lines like that. I'm like, all right, yeah, that's funnier than fucking little tina in her fucking game or whatever like it but feels um, weird that it's almost like just like a, hey remember this comes out in a couple days make sure you had your pre-order in yeah it's weird that they show like i i made the prediction that they weren't gonna show because it, it comes out in five fucking days uh and also they had a whole state of play dedicated pretty much to it yeah. like a month or two ago i thought they're gonna show call of duty because call of duty they still have that like like exclusive shit to it, you know. So a lot of this is didn't. paid though too. So that means it's Bethesda that already had the contracts to be in the, all these. Sure, but like I don't know if I don't know if those are because I don't I don't even know if these like presentations are that like thought of in advance. Like, yeah. I, I, I I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if this one wasn't. And there was supposed to be another one like earlier this year, but they just didn't have enough shit to show for it. Like, uh, I mean, yeah, that's fair. I, I I think they're they're planned out pretty far though. Well, if they were planned out so far, why did it, why did they announce it just last week? They want to surprise you. Hey, EA fucking announced their thing like two months before it happened. To be fair, and EA sucks. So you tell me what the fuck's wrong with that picture? Chatbox says, "When's the next Deadpool game?" Never. Nick, uh, like Deadpool movie will never happen. Sorry, Disney owns it now. Let's see. Uh... Okay. Nick. That's why I'm a little worried about uh like the Wolverine game. I want it to be rated M, but uh oh, actually they don't. Well, no, they do. They own well, they own media rights, I assume, right? Well, they, they own no. all, all of Marvel, right? Even the comic yeah. stuff. So yeah, they own everything Wolverine. So they're gonna make that fucking PG. I mean uh, T. Oh, Disney. Yeah, they own Marvel yeah, yeah, yeah. Wolverine. Period. The only thing they don't period. fully yeah. own is they bought 20th Century Fox. So they, they, there's a handful of stuff they don't own, like, but the only two that are of note are uh, are Hulk and Spider Man. Right. Uh, let's see. Nick says, show, Wait, speaking Hulk? of showing the same stuff, no, Universal has a uh, has the rights for, is... for oh, oh, you, oh, you're you're just talking about like for movie rights, yeah. Okay. Right. Well, uh, but but when it comes to like comic, I'm assuming video comics games right, and video games, there's nothing except people are kind of wondering what's going on with that Sony deal. That remember they had that big falling out with uh, with uh, yeah. Disney about the Spider Man, yeah, right? and all of a sudden after that, then all of a sudden all these games are exclusive, you know? Yeah, it's a Sony, so obviously so could, there's probably a deal. With Even Spider Man's exclusive on that fucking that Avengers game. Um, so a couple other chats. Uh, speaking of showing the same stuff, are you guys surprised they didn't show Sifu as well? Uh, I was why you guys mentioned Sifu, they... I'll be right back. Well, I mean, I was just going to say, I, I, I'm oh, okay. surprised they didn't show uh, Kenna, Bridge of Spirits, if anything. Because that comes out that comes out in a week, but we haven't had a trailer for that in a little while. So. It's true. So and I was surprised they were going to put this here as like a, hey, remember, buy this. That would have been like a good opportunity. That I can't wait for that game. I hope I hope it's good. Like I, 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 just, I just remembered like earlier today that Lost in Random comes out tomorrow. I'm like, oh, fuck. God True. damn it, it's too many fucking games. Yeah, this last wanna... half of this year is fucking stacked. Yeah. Uh, well, especially with shit I want to play. Anyway, go ahead if you need to go. Uh, really quick. Oh, man, Sifu looks so good since 2020. It looks great, yeah. Midnight it looks real. Actually, 
saw, I saw a preview from IGN that said the combat's real fucking good. Like, it's Ooh. really good. So that made me excited. excited. Midnight Fire Express looks yeah. good. He also says... Yeah, that game looks great. Everybody says... Maybe by one guy. What if Deadpool was in Deadpool? Or what if Wolverine was in Deadpool game? What, if, what if Deadpool was in Deadpool? I'm missing. I'm, well, I'm like, really off right now. Uh, what if Deadpool was in the Wolverine game? There you go. I had it right the first time. That'd be kind of cool. Actually, I think he is. Technically, because it's based on X-Men Origins Wolverine, the movie where they fucked up Deadpool, so... Yeah? Are you talking about that game, or are you talking about this new I think Wolverine the new game? one, probably. Okay, well... Yeah, it's not gonna happen, because... Oh, yeah, uh, fuck, alright. I was like, what the fuck was this again? Wait, what was it before this? Wasn't there something that we missed? Nope. I'm oh, reading kinda... nonetheless. No? Okay. Uh, alright, well, this thing was stupid. I don't fucking care. Radiohead. Radiohead! Okay, sure you guys Radiohead. talk about this. I'll be right back. All right, this game is called Chia. Uh, that's how you pronounce it. It has the logo. Well, you could let it play. I don't know why he pauses it. Um, I don't either. Yeah, I don't understand what the fuck he does. Um, so uh, yeah, this game's fun looking. I think it looks great, honestly. Like when I, when I was watching this uh, earlier today, there was a lot of I don't know. It seemed like a lot of not too happy people in my chat. Yeah. I never call you out. A lot of but, people were. Uh, looks like a mobile game. game I saw. Weirdly. Looks like a Fortnite game. Like I don't know. <laughs> there was one colorful. person, and I agree with their assessment. They're like, "Oh, this kind of has like Disney vibes." It's like, yeah, that's oh, yeah. definitely the kind of vibe I get off this. Is like a Disney kind of style. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it looks really good. It, it, it looks like it's combining like a lot of like maybe. Well, it has the guitar mini game from Last of Us Two, so you got that. Um, so there you go. More games have it. Uh, but it has like a bunch of like little things like a lot of breath of the wild influence with like you obviously you have the little thing you little parachute whatever. glider yeah a little parachute but also like mario odyssey where you could like jump into the bodies of animals and even when you yeah, jump that into was the a bodies, weird gameplay thing i was not expecting yeah I, they showed this game at the game awards i completely forgot about that oh, like, yeah the one that that just happened well not just happened but the most recent one um i think it was like a really short trailer so maybe that's why we forgot but uh mm. Yeah, they showed that, and it, they showed that you jump into animals just like in Mario Odyssey, and and even in Mario Odyssey where you have the little hat on the whatever you jumped into, this you have the little uh, flower, um, which is cute. Uh, it lo it looks really really fun. Like I, it looks like just kind of a kind of do what you, whatever you want kind of game. Um, it might even have like I couldn't tell, but it looks like it has like maybe like a little building elements to it, like you actually build a a town or something. I don't know if they go deep into that, but it looked like there was a little bit of that. Um, it looks really good. I don't know. It looks fun. I want to explore it. Uh, this is definitely a game that I'd be curious to kind of see what it actually looks like at release. Because right. it's got just enough of like a... It kind of has like a lot of charm to it, but there's nothing about it that immediately makes me go, I need this day one kind right. of thing. Sure, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I could see that. I think uh, this probably could be like a like a twenty thirty dollar game anyway i don't think it's gonna be like a full price game i mean no. i don't know I, at this point i don't fucking know anymore but uh it looks uh it looks great i'm very excited for it so uh i don't know what's coming out i'm assuming next year because i didn't say this year so i can only assume next year then um yeah. but it oh, looks fun actually, speaking of which uh the write-up i'm looking at does have uh the release dates for games that do have confirmed ones Oh, yeah. Tiny Tina, March 25th yeah. next year. Uh, yep. Forspoken Spring next year. Rainbow yep. Six Extraction January next year. Mm -hmm. On Wake October 5th of this year. Uh, Grand Theft Auto is March 2022. Yep. Uh, Ghostwire sometime 2022. Guardians is October 26th this year. Uh, yep. Masquerade Blood Hunt is sometime in 2020. Uh, Deathloop, of course, is in a couple days. Uh, yep. The Kid A whatever is uh, sometime in this November. November. Uh, then we have the next game on our list, the Uncharted reveal. Right. I forgot to show off something I got. I'm going to show off next week, though, because it's a pretty cool item. Right. Ooh. Um, uh, but yeah, the next thing they showed was the Uncharted. Now, there was a bunch of rumors about the Uncharted collection going to PC. So when I saw now, Uncharted, I was like, oh, okay, everything's coming to PC. And then they didn't announce their collection. I was like, oh, well, <laughs> hopefully they announced that because it would be weird that PC gamers get to play 4 and fucking its sequel. And they did say after the event that uh, the other one was coming well, to live. Well. Yeah, so okay. when they said... Oh, that's good. They, they should have showed that in here. Wait, 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 so they confirmed that the collection was coming too? Yeah, I think it got leaked. So, so is, is that... Is that I think the reason why this wasn't here is because these are remastered for ps5 yeah as i well. said that i said that yeah i said that in my thing is because these this these are actually remastered 
and they're going on the PS5, and the Uncharted Collection, I'm sure, is just a port, and that's it. And it's PC, so it, this yeah. one makes sense. And PS5. P- oh, that's coming I PS5 just also? said it was confirmed also for PS5. The uh, Collection? The fucking yes. 1, 2, and 3? Yes. All right. Oh, so is this, co- is this actually just all of the games? Are you sure? Yes. I think he's wrong. I'm going to put an asterisk on that, because I'm not sure. You're going to put an asterisk on you. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to put an asterisk on your fucking, your head. It'll be a bullet hole. Because I shoot you with a a gun. Your gun, you're dead. But, uh... No, I don't see that. Making shit up again. They call this the Uncharted Legacy of Thieves collection. Yeah, but what, what, what games are included in it? That's the two games. No, sorry. You're wrong. David's right. It Anyways. comes with the it goes it comes with the card game. Anybody remember the fucking weird ass oh. Uncharted card game? You don't remember that? Uncharted card game. It was like in between I think two and three they came out with it. It was no, fucking. I think it was a card game or no? Was it a no? It was a card game. It was definitely. It was like yeah. fortunes, fortune something. So because is not it's called the Nathan Drake collection, right? Yeah. yeah. So this is That's called. Not, the, it's called Legacy of Thieves Collection. Yeah, so. it's it's only those two games. It's what they show here. They call yeah. it that at the end of this. So. Oh, gotcha. So I was confused by that then. Okay, well, I'm sure it's coming. They just it's weird oh, that yeah. they didn't announce it at the end. Like even if it's not a remaster, and it's just a port of the of the PS4 collection, which I'm sure it will be. Um, then you should just add it at the end here, and and also the Uncharted Collection. It's coming. I know. I, I it got leaked, so I don't know why they didn't just announce that. But maybe. The, they thought it wasn't like that big of a deal. Like, uh, it, it, it would be really weird that these games are going to PC and and these are I'm literally sure, the last two games of the franchise. I'm so, sure, a Tokyo Game Show will uh, probably get a lot. More I'm sorry, what was that? that? What was that word? Uh, Tokyo, Tokyo Game Show. Oh, I thought you were gonna say it wrong again. Um, have we read? God, I'm so tired. Sorry, guys. Uh, have we? We've been reading the chat. No. Uh, I don't so read like, those fuckers. Back. Uh, Nick says the thing that makes me interested in the last game was that it's set somewhere on an island near Australia. We need more games set in more unknown, unknown island countries. That's true. I agree. The unknown island. How about Long Australia. Island? Come over here. Uh, who wouldn't want to do that? Either. Ray says, uh, not as good as Godfall. Uh, also says, uh, I'm curious what they offer free upgrade for thieves for this. Sorry, for thieves and uh, Lost Legacy if you own them. No. And yeah, no. and one H one D says, L O L O L O L. Do you know Sony? For you, seventy dollars. Oh, uh, we didn't have that into the news, but that was one thing. That Sony was did one thing. Sony did the... backtrack on that thing because not well, only was that no, not backtracked. No, they did backtrack because they they did state earlier, like earlier in the year, that Horizon would have a free upgrade right. to the PS5 version. But they didn't backtrack for everything else, though. They no, no, backtrack they backtracked for just Horizon. Oh, did they? So Horizon's no, gonna have a free upgrade. Right. I think I think we're having. All right, never no, mind. Right, just go. Uh, yeah, but I'm they not, did. I'm not. I'm not disagreeing with you. Though. Yeah, no, no. What Gore's saying is that they did say that for every future. They didn't backtrack with everything else. Everything else will be paid. Everything so, else yeah, will like, be here. a ten dollar payment though. Yeah. Uh, wow. Which is whoa. Which still uh, it's still Shit. silly, but uh, I think that's the first Ellie. time we have uniformity around everything, right? Can I just say one thing, actually? The Ghost of Tsushima one, where you have to pay ten dollars extra, is bullshit because fucking even Digital Foundry said like, yeah, um, there's um, not a lot new in this, and uh, it looks about as good as the regular version on a PS5. So the only thing that's new in that is that you get like you can lock on now. Whoa! Really so, interesting. Yeah, and uh, and I think you could uh, you could do something else. I didn't do it because I didn't give a fuck about. Lock but no, on. no pop, triggers, right? And then, I know it was already updated in the 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 thing. I think so. I think it was because I, I I didn't notice it this time playing it. So uh. interesting. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, Averoni says, "Gotta go. Love the stream. Appreciate you, Averoni." All right. See you, baby. Oh, yeah. Take care. Uh, Why? When he says, "Do they have Long Island game train simulator?" Yeah, because I said uh, uh, once more island games. It's like how about Long Island train uh, simulator yeah you, you get them fights you smell piss that's about it so yeah so every game going forward is that ten dollar upgrade for that uh it's i guess like i don't know they're gonna they're gonna run for it anyway they're, they're doing that 70 they're, not, price they're not gonna charge a lot for these this collection i'm sure but they will not give it free no. that's for sure this this won't be a 70 dollar thing there's no way in hell but it, it'll probably be 60 though um 
Maybe it'll be fifty if they're they're a nice ish. They're, eighty. Yeah. Eighty. That's oh, two games. Uh, we remastered them. They, <laughs> they charge a hundred and forty. <laughs> Yeah, Chloe's ass looks really good. That's Wait one. a second, was it Lost Legacy Elite Forty? Oh, uh, uh, meow. Anyway, all right. Well, it's remastered game. though. New game. Oh, and also, did, did, they, did they confirm if it has the multiplayer with these? I bet it won't. I bet. I bet you, motherfuckers, the multiplayer won't be included for some reason. Ooh, I will bet you fucking five dollars. Uh, no, two dollars. And say on there. 50 cents probably not it didn't it didn't well it probably it, it might but it won't be updated sure all right so this is where the show got good i think um because oh, yeah. i know you didn't you didn't like the wolverine shit you're weird but um this is where they showed well this is really where the cool show things. really started for them which i think is kind of cool actually yeah. i because usually we're used to everything in kind of scattered around which is nice but this yeah. is a cool little change like now it's our show three things i'm super hyped about that they showed um, and then the other one was Gran Turismo. Don't you say Gran Turismo. Um, Gran Turismo looks really good graphically. It does. It gonna... looks fantastic. I'm just, yeah, I'm I'm not just not into sim out. racers. I'm not at all. I'm not even into Forza. That's a little bit more arcadey compared to Forza Horizon. At least. Even the even regular Forza is a little bit more fucking arcadey than Gran Turismo. Jesus Christ. Gran Turismo 3, I enjoyed it when I was a kid, but fucking hell. God damn. I, I remember it, the training in that was ridiculous. Like, yeah, you actually had to like pass for the license for it. I'm just like, I'm just, a, I'm a little boy. I don't know what I'm doing. So let me, let me explain let me my play. point with, with how Chatbox said this because I agree. Uh, since I think if they had the showcase back in July with everyone else, they would have had the best showcase. I don't know about the best showcase, but I did make this point during the E3 one where things are just better when they're back to back, and you have less yeah. of a you have a less of a reliance for something to be good, right? Like when something is shit A3, you can kind of expect some of the others to pick up the slack, which kind of almost in favor makes you like them even more. Uh, when you have something so out, like spaced out, it's looked on highly because it's usually getting hype because you're like, oh shit, this is the only thing we've, we've, this is the first showcase we've had in a month, right? I think the last month was, uh, was uh, EA. It wasn't even last month, it was like July, right? Uh, yeah, it was July. It was July. So, already we've had, like, a lot of times since, July, since a last showcase. So, it just has more t- it has more expectations on it being solo. Uh, therefore, I could see why people didn't like it. But I guarantee if this was at E3, would have fucking did kill her, I think. Um, Insomniac definitely carried this conference. I agree. Uh, also, where's, oh, yeah. where's Sly Cooper? I don't know. It's dead. Sorry. Dead as hell. The dream is dead. It's it's not right now it was a core cool reveal, but again, Insomniac teased it, and you fell for it. This is a core cool reveal, uh, especially because it, it was kind of like a little psych out because you're like, oh, uh, Insomnia yeah. or Marvel, okay, and then they did. Yeah, it's gonna be Spider Man, and then immediately I'm like, what the fuck? And I was there immediately. I saw people fucked up and a little blood on someone's hand. I was like, Punisher? That'd be fucking dope. I totally play a Punisher game from Insomniac. Do you, think um, they're then, gonna, yeah. do you think they're gonna make their own uh, game universe? Uh, I think they confirmed this as standalone, like not a part of. Uh, hey, I, I read that from somewhere, which is actually good because that means there's a bigger chance it's rated M. Because I mean, this wouldn't it, this being rated M and then Spider Man showing up, him just gutting a motherfucker, and Spider Man's like, uh, like that'd be, be kind of weird. funny actually. But, <laughs> I mean, be, oh, uh, I wish that would happen. I would I would fucking pay I would pay the seventy dollars for that. But um actually I'd pay for the deluxe edition just to have that. Oh, that's how they'll get you. Eighty dollars you get the blood. Oh, yeah. I'm in oh, I, I gotta get the blood. There's blood all over the bar at the beginning of the trailer. It's a and, chat box. Yeah, he has he has blood all over his hands too, so I'm like, alright, so it might be, but that that was also a little bit of blood. You can get away with that. One thing I do want to say, I remember the X-Men Origins game, the Wolverine one, which was great. Yeah, that but one. Does anybody remember the PS2 version, which had no uh, blood? And the Wii version, same nope. thing, obviously, because Nintendo. They, it was the same game, except no blood. So Hell yeah. Fuck that. So maybe they'll do a si- similar sitch. And Super Flash says, the Uncharted Trilogy Master on PS4 didn't have any multiplayer from the previous games, so probably not for these. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I guess you could argue that like at that point, I think Uncharted four was about to come out and that multiplayer would have been better anyway so maybe sure but like uncharted uh, 4 is the only the only online right now for uncharted so we kind of fucked up it doesn't come with it 
it's like I said, I'm not into sim racers, but it's a gorgeous fucking looking game. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, you made the seats on the stadium look good. Yeah, that bird looks great. Fucking get over yourself. Jesus. Yeah, reflection. Oh, reflection. There was one shot where they're like, look at the reflection. It's really good, right? Yeah, right here. Right here. No, no, it's not right here. It's it's past this, I think. Uh, I don't remember where it is. But it's like it's like looking through the reflection like it's actually the thing you're looking at, and then it pulls out, and it's a, just a reflection, and it's like, oh, the graphics are great. Yeah, fucking good for you. Uh, you spent you whipped all your little servants to make the game look good. Wow. Bravo. Anyway, what's the next game? Jazz hands. The well, look good. Uh, real quick yeah. though, I I am. Oh, he wants to talk about. Uh, real quick, I'm just, I, every so often I do get an itch for a racing game. Uh, it happens once in a while. The uh, last uh, one I played was one of the Forza games on Xbox One. Uh, I had a good time with that, and then before that was, I think, Burnout Paradise. So I, I get into a rare itch where it's like I kind of want to play an actual racing game, and this one looks really, I don't know, this, this is a, a good opportunity to hop back into Grand Cruz, I think. I'm excited for it. Right. All right. So after the uh, Wolverine shit, um, everybody's like, well, nobody's like this because they were hyped about Wolverine, but... I think everybody figured that we probably wouldn't get Spider-Man in this reveal because they already revealed in our game. No, initially uh, I was thinking this might have been Infamous. Infamous, yeah, because the electric. I was thinking yeah. that for a second, but I was like, there's no way in hell they'll do Infamous over fucking Spider-Man. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Infamous is done, I think. So he's um, like, hey, we bought you. Let's let's get this going. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have uh, the Spider-Man deal going on where you make Spider-Man games because they make a lot of money, way more than Infamous. You're going to make a Spider-Man game. So much game, Spider-Man especially since lately. Fucking teasing. At the end of each of the fucking Spider-Man games so far, you keep teasing fucking Venom and uh, Craven the Hunter's talking, and I'm like, all right, Craven the Hunter, that's cool. Actually, that's awesome. Uh, and then at the end, they're like, nah, but you know what? This is the real shit. Venom. Unless Craven has the Venom in his face right here. No, it's, well, it's, they already, well, I guess this is spoilers for Spider-Man, right? Um, can we, it's been long enough, right? Everybody's played it. No. Oh, know. you haven't played? Okay. No. Well, they already, they already said who has the vent, the symbiote. Kind of. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, it's not Craven. Uh, it's not who you think it is, too, considering it's, you know, it's usually Eddie Brock, right? Yeah, I was um, going to guess maybe Flash Thompson, then? That's the no. other usual uh, carrier. No. Interesting. All right. I guess it... Was it... Adrian, was it 100% confirmed that was going on at the end of Spider-Man's endings? Don't say who the character is. I'm not sure. No, you don't remember. You're yeah, me, I, you're I don't remember me, like, a lot about that game either. Right now. A bad moment. Anyway, he looks great. And also, I don't know. Da- hey, David, did you hear who who voices him? No. No, you didn't hear. No. Tony Todd voices oh, Venom. Yeah. Fucking perfect. And yeah. and I I'm I'm really upset I didn't hear it too because it it sounds like Tony Todd. Yeah, did, it, so can you explain to me that. Explain to me that who, who Tony Todd is. Yeah, uh, that's the importance of that. Tony Todd's a candy man. He was in the Final Destination movies. Uh, what would you know him from? Uh, I don't think you'd know I, him. I saw he's you, candy. You, you he's link, candy man. You linked his Twitter, but what, what's the importance? Does he sound like a cool uh, Venom behind that? Or? Tony Todd's awesome. Yeah, Tony Todd's yeah, awesome. I, I, I know that was like a movie. He has an amazing voice. Okay, so, like, I don't know. Like, yeah, there we go. yeah, he has an yeah. amazing voice. Um, and Tony Todd's perfect for something like this. You know who would be amazing as Venom is uh, Mike Patton, who's uh, the singer from uh, was it from Faith No More? Is that it? Does anybody know? Uh, no, I, I think you, I think, I think, I think Gilbert Godfrey would be amazing as Venom. I was th- I was thinking Danny DeVito, but sure, that works too. <laughs> I, I'm so I'm molting. <laughs> That's Gilbert Godfrey. Um, uh, did you ever hear what Gilbert Godfrey really sounds like that? Yeah, where the fuck? <laughs> Piss me off. His voice would be Fuck fucking. Liar. He must be having like it a was lot like, of. like, hey, 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 Howard. Uh, I'm like, fuck you. You're a liar. Maybe You're that's a loser. His, maybe that's his fake voice. Oh, that's a that's a symbiote. Is his voice? Yeah, it's... That's, <laughs> it, that's him in his venom form. Yeah. You know. Uh, anyway. why should he say this is like a, a co-op Batman Arkham Knight? They uh, confirmed it's not co-op. And then uh, you said uh, Tony Talk has got a great voice. Yeah, he does. Uh, they confirmed it's a single player game. Uh, they did not confirm if you could swap between the Spider-Mans, which I'm sure you will be able to. It would be really weird if you, like they made a whole Miles Morales game and now you can't play as them in the sequel for Wait, Spider-Man. Wait, when is when he says, I'm returning this game? Wait, say again? When is when he says, I'm returning this game? 
Yeah, fuck this. <laughs> co-op. I was promised co-op from one teaser for a game that doesn't come out for two years. Uh, if you want um, to hear the chat, uh, Gore, I think Nick is mentioning something that you would get and that David shouldn't be looking at. Uh-oh. Okay, don't look at it. Spoilers. Yeah, I have right, to go in here. Look, I I, I, oh, well, that say is, it. is Faith No More. Sorry, that's what you're, that's what you're referring Yeah, Faith No More. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Um, but he, he also voices the Darkness in the Darkness games, and he has an amazing voice. Okay. So. I, I wasn't aware of who he was, but okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Faith No More. Spider-Man. Uh, Miles Morales is awesome. <laughs> Spider-Man. Spoilers, Mike Patton is in uh, Faith No More. I, 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 I took me a while to process. I thought he was saying something about the, the ending of Yeah, Spider-Man. you're, you're, you're yeah. saying. Oh, because uh, it says, uh, did you think no no more? I thought Pat, I, I'm, a, I'm really just like fried. Uh, did you think Pat and the, the general? Probably. I don't know what's yeah, going on. I'm probably. Um, the <laughs> probably. Miles Morales game was fucking awesome. I loved it. Uh, Spider-Man it was really great, yeah. 2017 Gameplay was nice. over Sage Welcome. And Probably I don't really care about too much of the characters in there. But yeah. I guess we'll see. Uh, I mean, I, I'm excited for it. I love uh, Venom as a Yeah, yes. Yeah. So I'm, I'm sure uh, I'm like... Visual. The combat itself is good. <laughs> I I'm hope just... you go... It better make it so you can play as Venom. I mean, yeah, you got it. Don't I, fuck around. I There's think... probably going to be a point where you get the same... Or, oh man, this is a pipe dream. But I hope this would kind of lead into a little bit of uh, all the other symbiotes. Like maybe we get oh, a little bit of carnage in there, right. a little bit carnage. of toxin. Ah, so much toxin Spider-Man news a... this time, you know? Yeah, a lot of Spider-Man. Uh, where's Avengers? Avengers. Here comes the Avengers. Hey man, we've been at Spider-Man out recently. We yeah. watched the, that movie. We got a trailer for yeah, the new two one. Two movies. Got... Yeah, we played that game last year. That's that was a long game. Uh, yeah. I well, wish I didn't watch I... Spider-Man too. You should. I've seen it. Serious? I mean, I've. Oh yeah. <laughs> you serious? You serious? Yeah. Now, uh, by the way, that podcast will be going up uh, tomorrow, yeah, and then Blue Beach will go up on Saturday. I'm glad they're calling it Spider Man too, also, because they could have been like Spider Man. Let there be carnage. <laughs> no, let so let there Venom be Venom way home. home. Uh, they should call it. Spider-Man to Venom, but you have to say it like that. With, with, with and if you go to the, the store end. and ask for it, Venom, but yeah, if you go to the store, that's a rule. If you don't sing it, you can't get the game. Superbot says, oh, uh, oh, and if you buy it from the store on on the PlayStation, you have to say it into the mic. And if you say it fucked up, you don't buy it. You can't buy it ever. It's, it, it, it takes your money, but you can't buy it. Yeah, it takes. It actually charges you more, and you still don't get the game. Uh, Superbot says, great. Super Spider-Man up. 3 will be a Maximum Carnage remake. Uh, that'd be dope, actually. That, yeah. that game was fun. All right, so, now the finale. That right cart. All right. Mario versus Donkey Kong remake. Oh, yeah. Oh, who the fuck is this? All right. Uh, uh, hey, Jack. I loved everything they showed. Uh, it looks great, and it makes me very happy because it comes out. And yeah, it's, it's great because it just feels like this game came out because we just played it last year. Right. So it's like... Oh shit, hell yeah, more God of War. I'm down. Go. But uh I think it looks amazing. And and the one thing it is weird now he's a little older and now he just sounds fucked up. I don't like now it. Now like he sounds more started. annoying. Yeah. You know it's weird? Cause like technically he's not more annoying in this trailer than he was in the last game, but I was feeling that too. I was like, just shut up. Yeah, uh Thanks, Nick says, by the way. Right. Uh, Freya's pissed. I hope Freya. Someone said this in a, a rat show I watched. I hope Freya becomes like a fucking um, like Mister X and just randomly yeah, shows up. Yeah, that'd be to funny. You. <laughs> that'd uh, be actually dope. Nick says, "Getting late for me. Need some sleep. Great work on the podcast, as always. Done. Thank you. Appreciate you, Nick. Uh, this looks cool. Love um, it. I'm excited to see more of it. Like I said, I, I that looks so good. I just." So hope there's no weird technical limitations where you're like you could fill because sometimes you could fill in games right like, i know I, they I want to do more one didn't have any god of war one didn't have any technical issues i don't i don't not, feel like... i'm not okay maybe technical issues it was, it was one it, there wasn't even any loading screens but I, I, I want to i don't want i'm just okay, i don't want to hit a point, point where where it feels like the developers wanted to do more than they actually could because yeah, like, sometimes... okay first and foremost like, here's my one issue with this conversation point though is we're talking about still in the very beginning of the console's lifespan 
and we're talking about development that's happening during a pandemic. Well, I don't care about the pandemic part. You could, you, really we could delay good. the game all you want and stuff like that. Oh, like, right. Adrian doesn't care about the, the pandemic. The game, the game's been delayed already, yeah, and it was supposed to come out this lot like this year. So it's like the, the time yeah. is the time. It yeah. is what it is. Uh, the the early generation part, oh, yeah, sorry. like I mentioned, it's it's early, so even like the ramifications of that wouldn't be a thing. But it does go to say that a game made exclusively for a next gen console or current gen console is different. It's gonna be just more robust. If it's if it's with the same idea and scope behind it, then a game made with last generation stuff. I don't think we're at that point anymore. Honestly, I think we've hit a certain point where consoles have a certain base level of power to them. It's basically like PC gaming now, where you have your low end PC, you have your mid end PC, you have your high end PC, and that's honestly what I'm predicting. God of War is going to be is. PlayStation 4 base model will be what it's going to be like to play on a low P spec PC. The Pro will be like the mid range, and the 5 is going to be like if you had a higher end PC. And it's going to be all smooth and fluid across the board. I have zero oh. concern about the quality. It'll be 30 frames, but it'll be smooth enough to play. I, I, that is one thing, is I do wish yeah. it at least be 60. Because God of War 1 is no 30 frames. There's no reason in this age that 60 is not a standard any, not at all. Yeah, I mean, but. I'd rather have the graphics than the frame rate. No, I can I get, I get, I can get used to the have. frame rate, and I, don't get me wrong, I can get used to the graphics too. But like, I, at this point, like, I want graphics. Like, I can get used I to the frame rate. Frame. I went back and played fucking um uh, the rest of like Mafia Definitive Edition after playing fucking like seven, eight games in a row that are sixty frames, and it took me maybe a minute to get used to it. I was like, all right, I'm good. Like, I, I, I mean, I don't get me wrong, I love the sixty frames. Ooh, extra 30 frames. Me likey, but like, uh, it's not going to kill a game for me. Like, that's just me. I'd rather it, have it, better for graphics. For me, it just, it, it screams laziness. They would rather <laughs> invest in just a pretty art asset as opposed to actually putting into the functionality of the game. Right. There is zero reason with the hardware we have now that 60 frames is not a fucking standard. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm on that. Boat. There's, like, there's a lot of like that last gen. There was a lot of games that came out on on PS3 that went to PS4 later too. So, like maybe not as much as now because now, like you said, we're we're transitioning to just upgraded hardware more so than it being an actual new console. Like the Series yeah. X is a perfect example of that. Um, that's just an. I mean, that's supposed to be their next generation console, but that, it, at this point, it's ju it's just an upgrade. Like there's nothing. The, on that console that I'm going like, like this, I, I don't know how they did it. You know, like it's a great, great console. Don't get me wrong, but like right now, neither console has anything that I'm like, I don't know how they made this run. Like Ratchet and Clank, you say it looks great as much as you want, but they could easily make that run on PS4. Make and it 30 they, frames. Make it, make it so when you're that. jumping back and forth, it's a little bit longer loading, obviously, but they could still make it work on there. It's the not loading like, with it's not Ratchet like it, and Clank. It's impossible. They're loading Ratchet and Clank by on paper the way they described it isn't actually as um they can trans they can translate it it's not as groundbreaking as it seems because everything's on rails no. so yeah, it's, it's not on rails it's and also like the, the side things are just like little pockets too so yeah. they can easily make it so that it loads if they have to make yeah it load. it's all it's all like textual as shit uh yeah, exactly. but in the we haven't gotten to the point where i can feel confident thinking that yet i think with honestly, uh, i think i think kenna looks better like everything i keep seeing in that game looks more uh, gorgeous and that's also on ps4 so until we well yeah but not not as giant of a scope i don't think but it, yeah that, that game looks i can't believe how good that game fucking looks it looks like a pixar fucking movie Un until i get like another year or so where i could like confidently feel that way i, I just don't i i i i want to know that developer because I, I know there were even some developers complaining how much how much like scope they have to to make things with it's a ps5 it's all the the range of PCs. You're looking at the Series X, the Series S, and then PS4, PS4 Pro, Xbox One, Xbox One S, Xbox One X. It's just I know they're getting kind of bugged at how many. Sounds like an Xbox problem more so. It it, it just a lot. So. Of, at least only really had two PS4s. It's just a, a a range of stuff that I know that they're like kind of bugging out having to like make sure it works for everything. Uh, which also again just adds to development time and all that stuff, but whatever. Uh, Creature Frost says, uh, this game is a first party game, so I assume Sony wants you to play it on the better console. Yeah, 
Just like Horizon. There's no way in hell that Horizon game is going to look even close to as good on PS4 than, than it does. When I watched that 4K, I was like, God damn. Like, Jesus Christ. <sighs> like, that looks actually better than Last of Us, I would say, from what I've seen from Last of Us, which I played a good eight hours, so I've seen a lot. Of it. But I haven't played with the 60 frames. He means though. the first one, don't worry. So, yeah, I meant the last, the 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 the, first, the only one. Uh, anything else to say about God of War before we go next next subject? Uh, it looks uh, fucking yeah. great. Yeah, we I can't we wait. Really talked about it, so yeah, go for it. You went you went all on your little I hate Sony rant. So I'm just really tired, so I'm okay. missing things. So go for it. Hater, hater. Um, there's a lot of bosses in this one. This looks like it actually has bigger enemies. That was the one yeah. thing I missed in God of War 2018. In the original God of War. I swear, like, every fucking 10 minutes in those games, you would have to fight, like, a, a giant huge thing. enemy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and there was some of that in God of War 2018, but not even close to as much as... To be fair, the yeah. original God of War games are, like, five to eight-hour games. So yeah. No, honestly, War... I think even, like, three, like, every boss was a yeah. huge fucking enemy. Dude, the beginning of that game is fucking nuts. <laughs> it's oh. like, it's, I mean, it had to be. It had to be. But they... I mean, those games quiet down a little bit here and there, but I, I swear, when it starts ramping up, it's always every five minutes of something giant fighting and then it'll quiet down a little bit, do a puzzle, and then fucking, oh, there's, a, there's like 10 giant things here. I got to pull their fucking eyes out. This looks like it has a lot of variety of enemies, which I had, that was my one complaint with 2018, is that there wasn't enough variety, really, with the enemies. Uh, yeah. There was a lot of the same. They had the, what, they had like explodey dudes, right? Wasn't that explodey guys or something? Or, was there explodey guys? Or am I thinking of like fucking every other game that has the same kind of... I don't kinda... think there was explodey guys, no. Was there shield guys? There was a lot of shield guys. There were shield though, guys, yeah. okay. All right, so I had, like, generic enemies. This one, like, look at this fucking dude. What is going on here? Big boy. He had the big boys in the last game, too, but this is, like, a different big boy. And then yeah. it had, like, this that really fucked up looking, like, it looked like a centaur. A, a centaur is the one with the horse and the yeah. human body, right? Um, and it, But it had, like, a skull face almost. I was like, what the fuck? Um, oh, yeah. And I'm also uh, excited to see more of the, the, mytho the mythology. Um, agreed, because... Uh, I was kind of surprised because I didn't think that they were going to have tier, but I, from because like, that was one thing that I mentioned when we were we did our uh, games gone by on God of War 2018. Uh, I was I was actually surprised how much mythology they actually did wrap into it, which is what made me go, "Oh, he's Loki," and then it's like, "Oh yeah, I, I see that." Um, so I, I'm curious to see what they are going to do about facing Ragnarok and um, what else they're kind of doing with a lot of it because. I mean, first and foremost, we, we I'm actually surprised the trailer didn't start with where we kind of left off with that epilogue uh, to right. see kind of Thor just very briefly. And this it again, too, was a little jarring. It's like, ooh, OK, it kinda, uh, I think it kind of did, because you do see that shot again, the one where you see his hammer and stuff yeah. in that trailer. So I yeah, actually I think it's probably, through, though. I think it's going to the game's going to probably start off with still young Atreus. I don't know. Maybe they'll digitally edit his voice to make him not sound like a fucking weirdo. Um, maybe they already pre-recorded. All so. kids that grow up are weird. Stop Agreed. dropping the balls. All right, pick a voice, Jesus. Um, weirdo. Anyway, uh, so I think they probably digitally edited his voice to make it so, or 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 maybe they thought ahead of time and uh, the few years ago when they did the performance, they were like, let's record a little bit here just because I already have a, an idea of how I want the next game to start. So maybe they did that. I don't know. Uh, that's what Possibly. I'm thinking. They probably could have done. Um. But no, I, I, I'm excited for this, uh, to see Tyr kind of get involved. Uh, I already know that some of the kind of combat encounters are going to be wild based off of that. Um, right. I'm hoping that we also get to see a lot more of the different realms. We kind of got a yeah. good piece of what some of the realms could be like, uh, but there's still far more to actually explore. With yeah, a bunch of them you couldn't go to in the last game. So. Yeah. And also, I like that there's like a hub world, it almost looks like, like, like a town. So that's kind of cool because the last game didn't really have a lot of like interactivity with human other humans and stuff besides no. like the ghosts I guess and also the the, uh, the brothers, uh, bro yeah Brock and Sindri yeah but like that, that was new again, this. yeah that's cool uh looks great I can't wait so I hope it's like I'm gonna guess that's probably gonna be like May next year because it's supposed to come out this year so I'm assuming it, it was pretty close to done they just needed an extra few months probably to finish it up um just like with Horizon so I'm gonna guess probably May for that i can see them pushing it to summer yeah so june then fine yeah like maybe june july ish oh they should release it the same day as e3 just to fuck with everybody oh yeah 
Because they're not going to be at E3, probably. So they said, fuck it. We'll drop our game and say, fuck Microsoft. Yeah, I mean, they pretty much are done with E3. I doubt yeah. they'll ever return. Probably not. Uh, all right, so now uh, that, that was the showcase. Thought it was great, personally. I liked a lot of the games they showed, uh, and I'm excited for pretty much everything uh, that is first party besides Gran Turismo, obviously. So, so yeah, I'm excited games. for it's third, our first party, rather. I guess uh, Kotor is yeah, Kotor is uh, exclusive, not first party, but you know, they have a lot of good looking stuff. So. Eight out of ten events. I'd sure, say. that's probably I'd say that maybe eight point five. You know, see how I feel. Yeah, there you go. Uh, did you guys see the rumor of the uh, Switch OLED getting a price cut next week? No. Two. Wait, oh, let's guess three thirty nine ninety nine. <laughs> Ten dollars. There was apparently a Twitter that's pretty reputable that that said that it was getting a price cut sometime probably next week. Is it gonna be two ninety nine? Uh, they haven't even said it's uh, the one they've only confirmed now is Europe. So we don't know if it will come over here, but uh, uh I'd imagine that's probably where it'd be at. Okay, I don't care. Anyway, uh, I'm just excited for Metro Dread, which is the same day. So. Also, what we have when we actually get Switch Pro, then I'll care about new hardware. Yeah, I need a battery too, to fix point. mine. My my battery's shit, so I'm probably gonna keep it. Okay, all uh, right. So all stars they brawl. showed this, and yeah, you, you talk about this because like I mean, it looks. I think it looks really good. Looks cool. I am getting. I, I'm not gonna lie. The entire time, this is all I'll say about this. Uh, the entire time they just had Patrick stand there, and I got sick and fucking tired of seeing that goddamn animation of him going. Oh, so anyway, continue. so. Uh, I will say just not even talk about gameplay yet. I think uh, it sucks. I know it's not a developer issue that, that they couldn't have voice actors no in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, people complain about that. I, I don't really care, honestly. It'd be, it'd be better, but I, uh, I I get why. I get that it's a uh, it's just a, a logistical. They have, they have to do that in all languages, and it's probably going to cost a lot of money, and this game hasn't yeah. proven itself yet, but I'm sure if it does as well as it's looking like it's going to, that... <laughs> It'll uh, it'll okay. be a thing. Uh, the Power Rangers game did that, so people brought that up. Like the Power Rangers game came out and it, it was pretty bare bones and it was pretty indie for the most part. Not indie, but it, it didn't have a lot of money behind it. Um, and then after a little while, they started getting more more characters and it was doing really well. I think they released like five different versions of that game with more characters and then they added. Yeah, and they just released a new one too. Yeah, yeah. So and this um, game looks like it's gonna do well. I think. I think this is this. This is, game looks. I think Way it's, it's coming at the to. perfect time. Smash is down to one last character. I yep. think a lot of people that that it's like SpongeBob. Smash uh, are gonna are gonna flock to this, and just by nature, they are a lot of a lot of Smash is just no Nickelodeon stuff. Uh, so I think it's just a natural yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, like yeah, like yeah, kind yeah. of blend for them to go into that. Uh, so I think I think I think Game Mill needs to go all in with their trailers. Like they announced the two at mm-hmm. uh at Future Games, right? Or was it Gamescom? Yeah, they, 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 it was Future Games, yeah. And uh, they announced two, which is good. But they need to like just get some production value on that and make them a little bit more spicier because I can guarantee you that's going to be big, big fun news for everyone. Uh, in terms yeah. of gameplay, obviously yeah. very Smash. Uh, yeah. It's got a lot of really cool mechanics, such as everyone not there's no reflectors. Everyone can reflect. Uh, moves are on the... Uh, you can have power moves in the sky. You can grab in the sky. Uh, the combos look pretty slick. Um, the staggers look really fun. So a lot of actual more stuff on top of the basic Smash formula. Uh, that That's super, super cool, I think. Um, which I think is kind of a needed thing as well. Um, Smash has gone to a point where I still love it, but the cast is very bloated. Just because, I mean, that's what everyone wants, but like, it's getting harder to keep up with a lot of that. So it's it's right. it's gonna be cool to have a game with with more complex mechanics, but also with a smaller cast to experiment things on. Um, yeah, because that's the thing. Like Smash is really popular with everybody, so you can have a game like this and not worry about it being too complex for kids. Because people kids play fucking Smash all the time, so like they won't care. They'll just button mash. So having a game like, I swear, like maybe. 15 years ago when we would get Nickelodeon games all the fucking time on GameCube. They had like a Smash Brothers style game almost. I think it was like called fuck, it was like I almost thought it was like Nicktoons Superstars or something like that. It was like 
it was either there it was like a fucking like a, a a power stone style game either way it was just a button mash or whatever it was and uh it was it was not great so like it's cool that someone's taking this seriously enough to just make us a, a smash style game people with... need to realize fucking just copy smash don't have shame yeah. in it no one's gonna give a fuck obviously people are super into this people want to play smash and they and people want to play smash and they don't like nintendo a lot of time with the way they fucking handle their shit copy right. smash literally no one's gonna care copy the fucking I will, game i will say this though even though people don't like how nintendo deals with things that the the publishers of this game make some of the biggest fucking shit turds out there so or at least publish them man. I, I think so, they actually do make some games i think game mill has made so many shitty games in the last like couple years or published them at least. I'm like, that was making me a little nervous, but this game looks good. It so, actually, look, like all these other games, like G, the G.I. Joe game that came out last year, the fucking Kung, not Kung Fu, what the fuck is it called? The Cobra Kai game yeah. look like shit. Um, they have a Nerf game coming out that looks fucking atrocious. Yeah, that looks, that looks trash too. Uh, yeah, but so, I will say that, so one, obviously being the Slap City dudes, they're going to kill it, I yeah. think. Um, yeah. But also, sure, I think good. that having a publisher that does shit i think is almost a benefit for this game because it's gonna make this game fucking shine like a diamond and they're gonna want to like go all in i think i think they're kind of leaning into it too you see their twitter like really talking about this game i think they're they're like oh fuck we have something big on it they got i'm just surprised they're getting all these licenses like who owns game though like they got like gi joe and and like nerf i mean nerf's a huge property but like gi joe like is still pretty big and obviously nicktoons is like hey like how are they getting all these i mean they've had it for like, kart racing uh, that's true i heard that was actually not bad so at least yeah they, they've um, had it for both the kart racer games um and then they've had it for another i, I, I want to say right, another right. one what was that i said I, I i hold on i'm reading all their games they did uh oh, they did the street outlaws games oh, they did the american ninja warrior game i heard was shit the goosebumps game the Monster Jam games. So oh, they did that Cartoon Network Battle Crashers game. That I heard that game was fucking terrible. So I, I'm hoping that people are, are fucking looking at this, being like, "Oh fuck, this is oh, shit. we should be doing this." I don't know why no one fucking oh, uh, took the idea of it earlier, but like, take characters. Fucking Cartoon Network could have done the same shit too. Take the fucking characters, make a fucking good balanced game like that. Get some people that there's just plenty of people. The 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 people that make Rivals of Ether. Slop City, mm-hmm. uh, even even fucking you could even look at fucking Brawlhalla almost. Honestly, I mean they're busy because they're still making that game, but but like there's plenty right. of developers that know this formula so fucking well. Just fucking. I think it's coming. Do it. Okay. I'm thinking, yeah, uh, and I think it's like coming out at the right time too, like the perfect time. Yeah. So, like it comes out October fifth, which is the same day as Alan Wake. So I I don't know. It might it might get fucked right there? Everybody, you know, all those wakeheads. But um, I don't think there's anything else in the beginning of October, right? Like everything in October is either in the middle or at the end. This one, especially at the uh, end. This year, rather. Uh, huh? You mean for this year? For this year, yeah, it comes out. Uh, this year. We oh, got Cry, Metroid Dread, Monster Crown, oh, yeah. Battlefield, just said Metroid Dread. Project Zero. Oh, That's what's mind. on never my pre-order mind. list. That's Fatal Frame, right? Yeah. Um. Okay, yeah, I forgot about uh, I forgot about uh. I Metroid. just fucking mentioned Metroid Dread. Too. Yeah. Uh, but I also forgot Far Cry is that time. But, like, this is a game that you just play for a little bit. Like, those are games you play a lot. And so. Smash is I, I think this is, probably, the game. this is also a game that's, like, that can probably fit anywhere, honestly. Like, even with, like, the busiest yeah, like, schedule. No, they're gonna, parents are going to see the game, see fucking SpongeBob at the front, and they'll yep. get the game for them, which is cool. And it'll Sma- be 52. Uh, so Smashers are going to fucking pick up the game, too. Yeah. I'll probably get. Streamers I'm, I'm, will be I'm probably gonna get two copies of the game because I want to get it on Switch. I'm probably gonna get it on, on Xbox as well. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna get on Xbox. Yeah, because I want to get Xbox for everyone like that. But I, I know Switch is gonna be a really popular platform for that. I wasn't gonna block in their game controllers, so I'll probably get it on. Wait both until the reviews before you do that, though. Yeah. Um. Because uh, even though they made Slap City. Yeah, I'm gonna get on Xbox. I would get on PS5, but I think he wants to get on Xbox. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get on Xbox. Um. I I trust developers the and I but like I said I think them being a shit publisher works in their favor because it's gonna make it stand out that much more if it's successful and that then they talked about the like, DLC is gonna happen if everyone I love that gets That's the so game good. in 
And put the fucking the meme face in there. All these memes becoming real in these things. Which meme Did face? You know oh, you didn't see that? Go. Oh. Right there. Yeah, oh, you didn't damn. notice that? Oh. Uh, you didn't the whole breakdown, so oh, got caught. <laughs> All right. There you go. They put that. I, I'm hoping they put the caveman one in as an echo fighter. Or right, we don't need to talk about this if you want. If you want to end now. But if you, yeah, unless maybe you want to talk about it just real quick. I mean, just real quick. I'm excited to see uh, this get an animated film. It's uh, rated R. Fuck oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I I like the injustice storyline in the game. Fuck. The gameplay itself was, eh, but uh, I I like the actual storyline for injustice. So they made I, comics based on that, right? Like yes, after doing, after the like, fact. Yeah, they ended up doing like uh, a few year run the Justice yeah. comics was it dark horse yeah yeah i feel like i've seen that in comic shops like I, the very rare times i go to a comic shop i, fe- I feel like i always see in like a dollar thing it's like oh. yeah i think they have a trade of it now i want to eventually pick it up at some point that's cool i do like the story in both injustice games and uh i'm happy this is radar because there's times in that uh in the especially the first injustice game where shit a I horrible mean, thing like what starts us all off yeah, right. Well, they kind of tease it right here, dude. There's shit that happens in that game that I'm like, oh my god, I would love to see that if it was right R. Yeah, look at that shit. Now it is. Um, and I like the new animation that they have, by the way. Like the older one for a lot of DC anime movies have always kind of looked cheap. I like this one it has like more shading, almost more dark, uh, like like thicker lines and stuff. I kind of like that better. Agreed. So, yeah. So this looks better. It's it still doesn't look like. I guess amazing, but it look if we're straight to DVD movie uh, series, it looks good. It looks solid, yeah. Yeah, I like the, I like the character models. It looks actually kind of like the Mortal Kombat um, movies they're doing too. So a little bit where they have like angular faces and like almost pointy character designs. Um, yeah. So uh, I like it. Uh, what I saw from this is very much a teaser, even though it says trailer. It was a teaser. It didn't show them saying like uh, Joker did something. And actually, to be fair, this doesn't seem as violent as the way Joker made Superman do what he did in the beginning of the original Injustice. Because the no, original Injustice, we get, uh, Superman still acting the same way. Yeah, that'd be dope. Oh yeah, no, that's one scene later on in that game that's fucked up, mm. involving a kid. Let's just say. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, the way I worded that sounded really weird, but don't worry, he just gets murdered. Um. So. Don't don't get worried. It's a T for Teen game, so he only gets a, a brutally murdered, so it's fine. So I'm excited to see it if they do more stuff like that, like because they're changing a little bit with this Joker thing. Because in the original Joker, yeah, I mean they could show you in the trailer. I guess we could spoil that. Um, Joker makes it so that Superman isn't like thinking right or whatever, and he kills Lois on on accident. And this one, it looks like he just kills like Joker kills Lois, and then Superman finds her or something or maybe he does kill her but the way they describe it in the first injustice game is that superman tore her apart because he thought uh she was uh i think doomsday or something or yeah. i forgot who it was. yeah it was somebody so she he immediately like destroyed her ass so anyway they changed that a little bit that's literally the first 10 minutes of that game that's the setup so i feel like that's not a spoiler but uh anyway yeah it looks good i'm excited for it i'm i'm fucking stoked all right. Yeah. Put this back here. All right. Put it back. I got a. Right. I got a paper due in an hour. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, well, you better hurry up. Gotta hurry. You gotta be by. Gotta be boy. Well, what uh, the fuck are you doing here? What the fuck? I'm professional. Go home. Go home. Hey, go home. <laughs> go home. He gets. He gets up. Walks back. He's like, all right, I'm home. Uh, thank you for listening to episode 129 of the Blueberries podcast. Uh, if you didn't hear at the beginning, we have those audio podcasts everywhere. Shouts to India for uh, that. Uh, we, I'm sorry we didn't get to the money news. Uh, we'll get to that next week, though, so stay tuned. Uh, teespring.com slash store slash blue dash rupees. Got this shirt right here. Like, comment, subscribe. Copyright shirt. All that helps uh, David's fat pockets, so go help out there. Uh, games gone by schedule September 30th, Blood Sam Rachel the Night. October 14th, Night Trap. October 28th, Bioshock. And November 8th is Games Gone By Season 2 Retrospective. And to all you Indians out there, I got this to say. Conversion's up. (laughs) You rich, baby.